Tell your neighbor, upon my own strength, I cannot rely. Let me walk in the presence of God. Begin to confess whom you are in his presence. Upon my own strength, I cannot rely. Let me walk in the presence of God. In his presence, angels unspeakably more numerous, God infinitely more powerful. Walk in his presence. I'm linked up with God. Defeat and failure are things of the past. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Second Timothy chapter 4. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who we judge the living and the dead, and a view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. What does this mean? That is, in our spiritual walk with the Lord, there are good and hard times alike. Correct and rebuke encourage with great patience and careful instruction for the time will come when men will not put up with sun doctrine instead to suit their own desires they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their ish ears want to hear they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth. But you keep your head in all situation. Endure hardship. Do work of an evangelist. Discharge all duties of your ministry. Six, for I'm already being poor out like a drink offering and the time has come for my departure I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the faith now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness now is in store for me the crown of righteousness this will take us to the title our life is a race. Our life is what? A race. We that walk with the Lord run a straight race. We that are walking with the Lord run a straight race. Through his good grace, grace in the soul is a new life in the soul. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Apostle Paul is saying here that I have done the work of my day and generation. He's telling you, do the work of your day and generation in the same manner. As a Christian, our life is a race. As a minister, our life is a warfare. I call upon my warfare with a great deal of satisfaction. It says here that now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness that is the crown of believers 
is a crown of righteousness purchased by the righteousness in Christ Jesus. Believers have it. Not at present, yet it is sure. They have it not in possession, and yet it is sure. Tell your neighbor, I have it not in possession, and yet it is sure. For it is laid up for them. Back to that second Timothy. For I am ready, being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. With what pleasure he speaks of dying, he calls it his departure or his release. Death. To a good man is his release from the imprisonment of this world and his departure to the enjoyment of another world. Blessed assurance, Jesus is Sister, thank you, Lord. He does not cease to be, but is only removed from one world to another. I have fought the good fight and I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. Verse 10. Because he loved this world, has deserted me, and has gone. The love of this world is often the cause of turning from the truth and ways of Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul was guided by divine inspiration. As long as we live, we must continue to learn. Because Apostle did not neglect human needs in seeking the necessity of life. With what pleasure he looks 
back upon the life he had lived when you look at verse 6 7 there he did not fear death he said i had fought a good fight and i have kept the faith the cause is good the victory is sure we must fight it out and finish the course tell your neighbor we must fight it out and finish the course i can hear you again his life was a warfare his warfare was accomplished so his race was wrong well i have kept the faith i kept the doctrine of the gospel and the grace of faith i never betrayed any of them tell your neighbor i have kept the faith the doctrine of gospel the grace of faith I never betrayed any of them to be able to speak in this manner toward the end of our days what comfort or speakable comfort will it afford tell your neighbor to be able to speak in this manner towards the end of our days what comfort unspeakable comfort will it afford TV studios in Lagos, Nigeria. The Spirit of God touches every continent and nation through video call, reaching you in your home or wherever you may be. Distance is not a barrier for the Holy Spirit to locate you and make all things new as you join us for today's interactive prayer sessions in Jesus' powerful name. Distance is not a barrier. My name is Mr. Lungongba. I'm from India. The woman beside me is my wife, Achen Rimai. And I have a troubles of past more than 20 years back. It is very difficult for me to go, to move back and do my necessary things. It is very, it causes very painful to me. I cannot sit properly. If I want to sit, I used to form a towel like this. And then I would put a towel on a place where I have to sit, after putting my towel here, I will sit like this. <coughs> if I don't sit like that, if I sit straight, then it feel it causes very much pain to me. If I want to sit straight, I have to sit on this hall. If not, I feel very much pain because it does to my anus. It started giving me a very great pain. And whenever I go for a journey, I used to take this one. Since this towel is very big, so I used to keep it aside and I used to take this one. And I used to put like this and I have to sit like this. If I don't sit with the help of this, then the pounds will cause a very severe spin. This is the tool 
I used to see it. Not to touch my pants. This is my medical report of pants. And I believe Jesus Christ will set me free from this sickness. My name is Ajin Benmai. I'm from India, Manipur State. And this is my husband, Dunkhambo Jari Namai. I have an asthma attack. When I get an attack of asthma, I use this inhaler. And this is for asthma. This medicine, it, this is for my lungs. And this is this also for my lungs. And this one too. It's very difficult in breathing. That's why I use this uh, inhaler. During night time, I cannot sleep. I used to sit whole night. So it affect my life. So I trust Jesus Christ will heal both of our sickness, my husband and my. We believe we Jesus, believe will, Jesus set will set us free. Cabrera, Maria Elena, de Argentina, Córdoba. Eh, yo tengo hace desde los 13 años, tengo 49 años ahora, sufro migrañas. Tengo dos hernias de disco en mi columna y tengo un problema gástrico que soy celíaca, soy alérgica a las harinas. Eh, bueno, el dolor de la columna eh, me afecta cuando yo me acuesto, cuando me acuesto en la cama es cuando más me agarra el dolor. Tengo que dormir de costado porque eh, así de boca arriba no puedo porque el dolor es muy fuerte. El dolor permanece continuamente. Me he inyectado, me he inyectado porque me han agarrado muy fuerte y eso me ha calmado las inyecciones, pero un tiempo. Esta faja la uso para la hernia de disco que tengo en la parte lumbar de la columna eh, y, y el dolor de cabeza es casi todos los días, es, es sin parar. El dolor de cabeza me trauma mucho. Me han, bueno, me han hecho resonancia a la cabeza eh, por los dolores de cabeza tengo neuronas, grupitos de neuronas muertos por los, muertas por el fuerte dolor de cabeza. Yo quiero que Jesús me dé la sanación y liberación de mi vida, que la espero hace mucho. My name is Maria Elena from Argentina. I have suffered for the last 36 years with migraines, two herniated discs, and I'm allergic to gluten as well. The back pain affects me most when I lie down. I have to sleep on my side otherwise the pain will be unbearable because the pain is continuous. I have to inject myself with medication when the pain is too intense but it only provides short-term relief. I wear the lumbar corset to support my back because of the herniated discs. I suffer from constant migraines which cause me unbearable pain and trauma. I have dead neurons in my brain due to the constant migraines I suffer from. I pray that Jesus Christ heals me because I've been waiting for this for a long time. My name is Ayum Sukma Benyang. I'm from India, Mikhalia Shirong. I'm suffering from acid reflux disease. And if I leave medicines only for one day, so water comes out from my mouth. And stomach burning, heart burning, and I cannot move up from my bed. I cannot do my work. This is my medical report. And here is written as gastroesophagus reflux disease. And this is medicine that I used to take every day. And if I don't take this medicines, I feel weak. And I want Jesus to heal me, get rid from this medicine. My name is Nora. I am from uh, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, I live in Stad uh, Bishkek. Here is my daughter. She's name is Anke. I want that Jesus today help me and to deliverance, give me breakthrough from all my problem. My name is Rukia, I am from Kyrgyzstan, I live in Bishkek, uh, I am 19 and I have a problem with my skills ten since 10 years. Uh, this is a skin a problem that I have at um, I 
I want Jesus to help me. My name is Randy Pirates. I'm from Guyana. I live in America. For the past 10 years, I've been suffering from arthritis in both knees, diabetes, and all its complications, including tingling in the feet, numbness, um, damaged nerves, heart disease, poor circulation, hypertension, frequent urination, damaged nerves, um, low back pain. It has affected my walking in, in that I cannot walk strongly as I used to. I've had to buy several knee braces to wear from di uh, different times to give me support in my um, knee joints to be able to be mobile. Well, this is one of my recent uh, medical um, report, my lab work I did recently. And it showed that my glucose level is very high. My A1C is, is abnormal. These are some of the medications that have been taken to help with the situation, but to no avail. I would like the Lord to restore me to, a, a, to perfect health, to eliminate the arthritis, diabetes, and all these complications so I can function properly again. And to serve him more. My name is Erica Bernard. I'm from India, residing in the capital of Delhi. I've been suffering since childhood from depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. As I grew older, I've been having demonic attacks. Right now, I'm having heavy bleeding. And because of this, I'm not able to do my daily course. Right now, I want Jesus to heal me and deliver me. Yeah, 저는, 저, 저는 박주희라고 합니다. 어, 지금 51세인데요. 네, 24살 때, 24살 때, 높은 다리에서 떨어져가지고, 추락해가지고, 추락사고로 인해서, 딱 주저앉아가지고 바, 바닥에 주저앉아가지고 허리 척추를 다쳤거든요. 그래가지고 허리 척추 수술을 했고요. 하반신 의, 의사 선생님이 평생 못 걷는다고 앉아서 이렇게 앉아 생활하거나 누워 생활하고 난다고 했는데 그때 그때 이렇게 하반신 마비가 안 이겼었거든요. 그래갖고 이제 조금씩 이렇게 움직이기 시작했고요. 지팡이를 짚고 걷게 됐거든요. 예, 지팡이를 안 짚고 걷고 뛰고 싶고요. 정신적인 우울증도 있어요. 이때 다리에서 떨어졌을 때 정신적인 우울증 때문에 다리에서 떨어지, 떨어졌거든요. 지금 소망은 잘 걷고 싶고 정신적인 병도 지금도 앓고 있거든요. 그래서 정신적인 병도 나왔으면 좋겠고요. Viewers all over the world, good morning and win today. Welcome to today's program. Distance is not a barrier interactive press session. From the Emmanuel TV studio right now here in Lagos, Nigeria in West Africa. The people you see on the screen are from different nations, different continents of the world. People from USA, from Mexico, Honduras. People from Bolivia, from Colombia. Argentina, Brazil, we are people from the Caribbean, from Cuba, from Dominican Republic. They are from Europe, from the United Kingdom, from Spain, from Italy, from Russia, from Ukraine. And we have them from Asia, Far Asia, Kurdistan, India, Malaysia, Hong Kong. We have people from Australia, from South Korea, from the Philippines, and from the far end of the world, Papua New Guinea. I'm here at this Emmanuel TVs to break this news to you that distance is not a barrier for the Holy Ghost. And I'm here to break this news to you that Prophet TB Joshua will pray with us today. What an amazing grace. What an amazing trust. Anywhere you are, north, east, south, west, God is omnipresent. He's more powerful at distance. He's more magnificent, awesome at distance. 
and he can use any medium to reach you today. Right now, as you are watching, set your heart for healing. Get connected by faith, for distance is not a barrier to the move of God. There's only one connection. Believe. Just believe. Believe in Christ Jesus. That is our connection. Today, when the power of God will come upon you, your story will change. Your life will change. Your thinking will change. And everything about you will change. In Jesus' name. As you watch, engage your heart. Engage your heart. Call upon the name of the Lord to touch your life today. The same anointing that will touch them will touch your life today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, I have good news for you. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Anywhere you are, north, east, south, west pole. God can use any medium to reach you. God used the medium of sound. In the book of Acts chapter 3, by using the voice of Peter, who said to the man who was paralyzed, Silver and gold I do not have. But what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise and walk. And the lame walked. Today, God Almighty is going to use the medium of this interactive prayer session to reach you. No sickness, no disease can stop Jesus from reaching you. Never a healer like Jesus. Never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. And never a disease Jesus cannot cure. And never a burden he cannot bear. His will is to set you free today. Today is your day in Jesus' name. Queremos que ustedes sepan que la distancia no es una barrera y Dios ciertamente puede utilizar cualquier medio para sanarlos, para bendecirlos, para liberarlos. Así como Él utilizó el medio de la voz con Pedro, Él lo hará en este día. Así que ustedes solo tienen que conectar su corazón para recibir en el nombre de Jesús. 여러분들을 위한 좋은 소식이 있습니다. 하나님이 움직이시는데 거리는 방해가 되지 않습니다. 저에게는 금과 은은 없지만 당신을 일어나게 할 이름 예수 그리스도가 있습니다. 예수님께서 고치시지 못하는 병이 없고 예수님께서 지지 못하시는 짐이 없으시며 해결하지 못하는 문제가 없습니다. 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 모든 질병 가운데서 모든 문제 가운데서 해결되실 것을 믿습니다. 자포미티 라사야니 니 프리그라다 для духа божьего. Бог может использовать любые средства. Он также может использовать звук. Иисус произнес «Встань и ходи», и тот встал и пошел. Приготовьте свое сердце. Сегодня ваш день спасения, ваш день исцеления, ваш день освобождения. To bring about what you are asking for, I mean your heart desire, the healing, the deliverance, the salvation you are waiting to receive today. Queremos que sepan que ciertamente no todo depende de Dios y ciertamente no todo depende de nosotros. Se requiere de la habilidad y el deseo de Dios y nuestra voluntad genuina para traer la sanidad y la liberación. 저는 이 사역이 기적이 하나님께만 달려 있는 것이 아니라 우리의 진정한 의지와 함께 할때그 기적이 일어난다는 것을 압니다. Хочу, чтобы вы знали одну вещь. Не все зависит от Бога и не все зависит от нас. Нам нужна Божья сила, а также наше искреннее желание, чтобы получить то исцеление, то освобождение, которое мы так сильно желаем от всего сердца. Remember. In whichever way we come to God Almighty, He looks at our heart. Whether we cry aloud like blind Bartimaeus, they say, Son of David, have mercy on me, in Mark chapter 10. Or whether we sit silently before our mountain that the man at the pool of Bethesda. Or whether you pray silently like Hannah at Shiloh in 1 Samuel chapter 2. If our action is genuine, the Holy Spirit will affect it. And when the Holy Ghost affects it, healing, deliverance will be just like breathing. So the question is, how genuine are you? Запомните, что состояние вашего сердца очень важно, потому что из из нашего сердца вышли слова: Иисус, сын Давида, будь милости в ко мне, и Господь проявил к нему милость. Поэтому очень важно проверьте свое сердце, насколько оно искренно, потому что нам нужно только эта искренность, чтобы получить в один момент то исцеление, то освобождение, которое мы так сильно желаем. Holding an offense damages our heart. Is there anyone 
that you need to forgive before coming to this program, check yourself and forgive. Let go that offense because we need a free spirit to receive from God. Проверьте свое сердце. Ваше сердце должно быть свободно. Если вы держите какую-то обиду, непрощение, это разрушает ваше сердце, влияет на ваше сердце. Прошу, простите всех людей. Простите всех, кто обидел вас, чтобы вы имели это свободное сердце, чтобы вы могли получить. I believe you have forgiven. Right now, set your heart for prayer, for healing. Today, I have a good news. Prophet T.B. Joshua will pray with us. TV Joshua, 선지자님께서 우리와 함께 하실 것입니다. Así que en este momento, toda ofensa, todo dolor del pasado, libera tu corazón para que puedas recibir el deseo de tu corazón, tu sanidad y liberación. As you are standing, set your heart for prayer. Set your heart for healing and open your heart to his word, open your heart to his spirit, open your heart to his faith. Right now, prepare your heart, prepare your heart, engage your heart. Ahora mismo, prepara tu corazón y conecta tu corazón. Say, oh Holy Spirit, take more of me, give me more of you, let it run in your heart. Prepare your heart, prepare your heart. Готовьте свое сердце, говорите в своем сердце, Дух Святой, забери больше моего, дай мне больше твоего. Сонгнёмним, твои косы чуя джушиго, дангсине косы ру тоа и джушипшо. Ahora mismo, pidan, oh Espíritu Santo, localiza mi corazón en el nombre de Jesús. His will is to set you free today. His will is to deliver you today. Иису Кристу и Римуру, чаю яшпшо. His will is to change your life today. Его желание, чтобы вас освободить и исцелить. Su voluntad es hacerte hoy sano, hacerte hoy libre y bendecido en el nombre de Jesús. When the power of God come upon you right now, where you are in your home, healing will be just like breathing. 하나님의 영이, 하나님의 능력이 임하시면 자유함은 치유는 여러분들이 숨 쉬는 것과 같습니다. Cuando el poder de Dios descienda sobre ti, la sanidad, la liberación y la bendición serán como el respirar. Viewers, as you are watching, let this thought run into your heart. Have mercy on me, son of David. Let your favor and your mercy speak for me. You too, you are connected, you are included. 시청자 여러분, 하나님의 자비가 다윗의 자손이여, 저를 불쌍히 여겨 주십시오. 하고 계속 기도하십시오. So get ready for your healing. Here is Prophet TV Joshua. Así que prepárense para su sanidad. Aquí está el profeta T.B. Joshua. T.B. Joshua, 선지자님과 함께 기도하실 준비를 하십시오. Поприя сын пророка T.B. Joshua. Good morning. Доброе утро. Buenos días. Thank you. Here is T.B. Joshua. Este es el profeta T.B. Joshua. Thank you for your coming. Спасибо, что согласились участвовать. Я Хамзамида. Gracias por venir. This remind me a woman with the issue of blood. Повторюсь, это напоминает мне о женщине, у которой была кровотечение. Чонун Магабугум Узанге, Хелюпьонголин Йоинер Киокамида. Это мне рекорда о асунто, о ла мужер, о флюхо де сангри. When he touched Jesus, когда она прикоснулась к Иисусу, у него Иисус не был манжосул те. Cuando ella tocó a Jesús, it was her faith that made her whole. Это была ее вера, которая сделала так, чтобы получила исцеление. Кнёй бидми к пьёнгол чуесмида. Fue su fe la que la hizo completa. I pray your faith will make you whole. Я верю, что ваша вера получит свое исцеление. Кого чем я рабун дре бидми кусл пакиру онамида. Оро ке ту фе ой те ага комплето. I pray your faith will heal you. Я верю, что ваша вера даст вам исцеление. Your faith will save you today. Я верю, что ваша вера спасет вас сегодня. In Jesus name. Во имя Иисуса Христа. In Spirit and life. Escuchen, cada palabra de Dios es espíritu y es vida. Take note of this. Every word of God is spirit and life. Прошу внимания, запомните, что каждое слово Божье есть дух и жизнь. The word of God becomes the power of God. La palabra de Dios se convierte en el poder de Dios. Слово Божье становится силой Божьей. Now it is time. Este es el momento. To experience the power of God. 
Para experimentar el poder de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. I pray the wall between your heart and God be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Right now, I speak to that sickness. Ahora mismo habla toda enfermedad. I speak to that disease. I say be released. Of that sickness. Of that sickness. Be released. Of that infirmity. That sickness. That disease. In your internal organ. Be released. in Central America and we are here in Lagos, Nigeria in West Africa that evil spirit I command it to come out out that chain be broken that chain be broken that chain control your life invisible chain be broken be released I say be released whatever damaged internal organs I say be healed that sickness that poison I say come out viewers all over the world this woman far away from Colombia in South America you can see her vomiting the poisonous substance in her body the power of God is a work upon her to set her free right now open your heart open your heart open your heart open your heart be released from that infirmity. Be released from that yoke. Anywhere you are, I speak to that sickness. I command that sickness to leave. To leave. Vomit it out. Be released. Right now, this couple all the way down from Australia, the power of God is setting them free in the name of Jesus. Be released of all sickness. Be released of all infirmity. You can see the power of God at a great distance. The power of God is breaking the yoke of sickness and disease in their life. This is a sign that distance is truly not a barrier for the Holy Ghost. Engage your heart. Be released. Be released. You heard this man is all the way from USA. Suffering from, you can see, wearing a knee brace. Difficulty in walking. The power of God is going to set him free in the name of Jesus. Be released from this infirmity. Be released from this sickness. Be released from this disease. Be released. Be released from this pain. Be released. Be released. You are free. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to that sickness. I say, come out. Come out that sickness. Come out that disease. Come out that sickness. Viewers all over the as you can see this lady far away from South Korea holding a walking stick because of infirmity. But right now I'm here in the Emmanuel TV in Nigeria, West Africa, here in Lagos, at a great distance from South Korea. In the name of Jesus, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Of that pain, of that infirmity. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released. Be released. Be released. Come out, you sickness. Come out, you disease. Come out. Come out. Come out. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. This woman all the way from Argentina in South America. You have seen she have removed the lumbar corset immediately. The power of God has touched her. She's standing freely, walking freely. infirmity. Be released of our bandage. Viewers all over the world, this family is from India. This man has been suffering from pile for so long. And I'm here 
at the Emmanuel TV studio in Lagos, Nigeria, at a far great distance from India. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that pie. Come out! Be healed! Be healed! Be released! Be released! Of that sickness, of that disease. Right now, stand up. Jesus Christ has set you free. Viewers, as you can see, this man right from India, God has broken the yoke of pie in his life. You can see now he's sitting freely without any pain. Now he's free. We speak to that sickness. Come out! Come out! Come out! All yoke in his family be broken. All yoke be broken. Whatever organ that is not functioning, begin to function in the name of Jesus. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Empieza a funcionar. All yoke be broken. Be released. Be released. You can see the family being set free by the mighty power of God. Now I remind you, distance is not a barrier for God. Right from Malaysia, we are here in Lagos, Nigeria, at a great distance. Your sickness, your disease. Fuera, tu enfermedad. Come out. Fuera. Be released. Fuera. I say come out. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. From all pain. Viewers, as you can see, this woman all the way from Bolivia in South America. And we are here in the Emmanuel TV studio in Lagos, Nigeria, at a great distance. You can see what she has vomited. The power of God has moved out of her system. All the poison that we're holding her in sickness. You can see her free. Now you are witness that distance on the barrier. Believe and receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to whatever sickness. To whatever disease. Come out. That sickness. That disease. Come out! You can see this couple all the way from South Korea in Asia. And we are here in Nigeria, West Africa. In the name of Jesus. That bandage be broken. I say be broken. Be released from that bondage. Be released. This woman all the way from Mexico in Central America. The healing power of God is touching her right from this Emmanuel TV studio to set her free in Jesus' name. This woman right now is from the UK, United Kingdom. And remaining, we are here from Nigeria in West Africa. The healing touch of God Almighty is breaking all yokes in our lives that you are free in the name of Jesus. Be released. This couple from South Korea, vomit out that poison. Vomit it out. Come out. Come out. Whatever is out of God in your life, come out! Vomit it out! Vomit that person out! Vomit it out! Vomit it out! Come out! Whatever strength in your body, come out! Be released! Be released! Be released! Be released! You can see him scratching his body and controlling from South Korea. You can see the power of God is touching, uprooting all sickness. Be released! Now it's continuous family from Colombia in South America receiving the healing touch of God setting them free. Right now we are here in Emmanuel TV in Lagos, Nigeria. Receive, be free, be healed. Whatever sickness in your body, I speak to that sickness. I say, come out, come out. They are from the Philippines in Asia at a great, great distance from here, Nigeria, receiving healing. And deliverance in the name of Jesus. You are free. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Be released from that sickness and from that disease. This woman right from South Korea, you can see her under the influence of the Holy Spirit, touching her body uncontrollably. This shows the power of God upon her. Come out, you sickness. Be free. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, move freely, move freely, move freely. Right now, this woman is from Colombia. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Ahora mismo, en el de Jesús, we command every sickness, toda every disease, toda to come out. Fuera. Come out. Fuera. 
Your sickness, tu enfermedad, your disease, tu dolencia, come out, fuera, be free, se libre, be released. Se liberada. You can see her right now from Colombia and the influence of the Holy Spirit touching her tummy. The mighty hand of God is setting her free right now in the name of Jesus. This man is from Spain in Europe. I speak to that sickness, come out. Vomit that sickness. Viewers, you can see all the way from Spain under the mighty power of God. He's vomiting all the substance, the mighty healing power of God is removing from a system in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released of that infirmity. Vomit it out. Vomit it out. You are declared free. You can see this woman all the way from Hong Kong. The mighty power of God is upon her to break that yoke. Viewers, as you can watch her scratching her body right from Hong Kong. And we are here in the Emmanuel TV studio in Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. She's under the influence of the mighty power of God, scratching her body uncontrollably. Mighty hand of God is at work, breaking the stronghold. Be released! Be released! Be released! Be released! Be released! Be released of that bandage! Be released, be released of all pain, of all infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be whole. Be whole. Be healed. Be healed. Be delivered. Right now, your faith has made you whole. Thank you, Jesus. You have heard by the tender mercy of God, you are declared free, healed, and delivered. Give thanks to God Almighty for your healing. Ustedes han sido sanos, libres, completamente, completados. You are here right now. You can stand up and check yourself and exercise your body. Stand up and walk, stand up and move. You are free, you are here, you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Ustedes han sido sanos, completos, en el nombre de Jesús. Give thanks to God, you are healed by the grace of God Almighty, and that healing is for the salvation of your soul. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to walk in the light of your testimony. Viewers all over the world, you have seen the name of Jesus Christ walking in the spirit. You have seen the word of God, spirit and life, working in the spirit, breaking all sorts of yoke of sickness and disease and setting them free. When Jesus sets you free, you are free indeed. Right now, it is your turn. Get connected by faith. When the same power of God comes upon you, your story will change. Remember, Jesus is concerned about you. That is why it looks at your heart to set you free. First John chapter 3 verse 8 says, The Son of Man has come to destroy the works of the devil. Right now, that invisible chain that has been holding you down, holding your life, your business, your career, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That chain of lust be broken in the name of Jesus. That chain of backwardness, depression, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be loose, be free in the name of Jesus. Remember, evil spirits are behind those chains. I speak to that demon, whatever name he bears. I say, be cast out in the name of Jesus. Leave my people, they are not your candidate. I speak to you, demon. Be cast out, be released from that bondage in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, it is his will to make you whole and to heal you. Right now, I speak to that sickness in your body. Whatever sickness in your faculty, in your internal organ, I say be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Healing from heaven in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember, his will is to make you prosper in all areas of your life. Right now, whatever has been taken away from your life, Whatever has been taken away from you, your peace, your stolen joy, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Be in your business, be restored in the name of Jesus. Be in your career, be restored, be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, begin to walk. I can see breakthrough. Believe it, receive it, and walk in it. Good morning. I can see a new dawn. You are rescued. You are secured in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, 
for healing me and thank you senior prophet tb joshua for laying a hand on me and thank you emmanuel tv team for this privilege before the prayer i have a very severe pile cast and i cannot sit properly i used to sit on the towel like this it makes me a lot of uncomfortable in doing things but after the prayer i can sit properly without using without the help of the towel i can sit very properly and there is no pain that cause in my anus i am completely healed now i can bend and move and turn around now i am completely healed thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus for healing bendiciones mi nombre es Luisel Guerrero soy de acá de Cuba de las Américas y el Caribe eh, le doy gracias a Dios por permitirme participar en esta oración interactiva donde fue de gran bendición para mi vida. Le doy gracias al Señor por haber tocado mi corazón y por haberme y por haberse encontrado, por haberme encontrado en su misericordia. Eh, para mí fue una experiencia espectacular, fue una experiencia sobrenatural donde recibí varios toques del Espíritu, eh, sus botes, vomité sustancias venenosas. Eh, recibí una total liberación, una total sanidad y estoy lleno de gozo y de alegría hoy para la gloria de Dios. Le doy gracias a Dios por el ministerio del profeta Tiri Joshua y por Emmanuel TV por hacer posible que tantas personas reciban bendiciones de parte de él en todo el mundo. Gracias a mí. Hello, I'm Emily from Malaysia. This is the prophet Tiri Joshua for me and I touch him and he touch the screen. I vomited something out and now I feel very happy. I'm free now. Thank you, Prophet P.B. Joshua. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for setting me free. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 감사합니다. 주님 찬양합니다. 오늘 어, 기도식 대화를 통해서 저를 통해서 기름 부으심을 원했고 저희 엄마 질병을 놓고 기도했을 때 주님께서 치유해 주셨다는 확신을 주셨고 오늘 새벽에 TV 조슈아 목사님이 먼저 꿈속에 오셔서 어, 안수를 해 주셨습니다. 그래서 제가 주님 앞에 아 모든 것을 다 받고 가지고 오늘은 대화식 기도에 참여했습니다. 우리 하나님께서 승리하셨고 또한 이렇게 몸수 나를 잡고 있었던 문제의 모든 것들이 빠져나가게 하심을 감사드리고 주님 앞에 영광 올려드립니다. Bendiciones, somos los pastores Lago de Argentina, de la provincia de Oquén, de San Patricio del Chañal, del Ministerio Río de Dios, de Avivamiento. Damos gracias a Dios en primer lugar porque hemos sido ministrados a través de Zoom por el profeta Divi Joshua y sentí en el momento de la administración una sensación de vómito, sentí que me jalaba mi mano derecha como si me hubiese agarrado la corriente, un temblequeo y sentía un calor en mi mano y sentía que algo descendía a mí y salía algo y quedaba liberado. Yo le doy gracias a Dios porque el sueño nuestro siempre fue de, de conocerlo personalmente al profeta y hoy tuvimos la gracia divina de Dios de tenerlo en nuestro ministerio. Le doy gracias al Señor por el profeta Tibi Joshua, su equipo, su gran equipo que tiene a, a su lado y yo bendigo al profeta y bendigo que se abran todos los canales que se han cerrado eh, hacia el profeta. Pero... Bueno, mi motivo de dar gracias a Dios en primer lugar y bueno, eh, sentí mucho frío, tenía mucho frío en la mañana, así que cuando empezó a ministrar el profeta, yo sentí un fuego en mi espalda, en mis huesos, porque sufro mucho dolor de huesos, pero para la gloria de Dios estoy sana. Pero no perdemos las esperanzas de algún día llegar a Nigeria, siempre que pasan aviones, le digo a mi esposo, en esos aviones vamos a llegar. No hay que perder la fe y doy gracias a Dios en primer lugar. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Praise you, Lord, Jesus. I'm not able to do this before, but now I'm here in your mighty name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. 
Thank you, Jesus. I am delivered. Before I receive the prayer, I feel very tired. And also, it's so itchy on my skin. My hand, my eyes, my leg. And after the prayer, I feel full of energy and not itchy like my normal. Thank you, Jesus. Bendiciones, mi nombre es Ezequiel Tobio y estoy con mi esposa María Riveros. Eh, vivimos en West Palm Beach, Florida, Estados Unidos. Hoy participamos de la oración interactiva y la verdad que fue un, una bendición para nosotros. Dios nos habló, me, me habló a mí, me, la verdad que me siento, me siento libre, recibí mi sanidad. Eh, yo sé que el Señor está trabajando, yo tenía problemas con mi brazo que no lo podía estirar bien, pero empecé a sentir la diferencia. Eh, estoy muy agradecido por, por la oración de esta mañana y, y por, el, por el profeta, y los bendecimos. Mi nombre es María Riveros, y mi testimonio es que yo tenía problemas en el hígado, los intestinos, eh, tenía un constante dolor que no me dejaba dormir, tenía mucha sol eh, en la panza, eh, no podía ir del baño, y gracias a Dios después de la oración me sentí mejor, no, no tengo más ese dolor constante que tenía en esta área, y me siento libre, me siento bien, y estoy agradecido con Dios por esta liberación. Amén, amén. Gracias Jesús. Gracias, amén, gracias Jesús. Gracias. My name is Julie Mai. I'm here today to share my testimony about what the Lord had done for me after the um, interactive prayer on um, the 1st of June. I was having a lot of difficulties with my head, with my brain. Doctors never uh, found out anything as to what was going on um, in my head. I was asked to go and do a, a second uh, test to put an ink through my system so they'll be able to see uh, what was actually going on in my head. I decided to um, uh, seek a spiritual intervention, seek the Lord. I decided to connect uh, with TV Joshua, Emmanuel TV. After the prayer session, uh, I felt a lot uh, lighter when I did go to sleep um, that night. I did not have the regular issues that I, I would have on my head. I, I slept very well. And I woke up uh, not feeling sick. I woke up feeling well. I went to work full of energy, uh, very alert at work. There was something different in 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 uh, how I felt the next day, and I, I I just praise God and I thank God, Prophet T B Joshua. Thank you so much for great work that he is doing, not only in Nigeria but around the world. Connect and be part of um, uh, T B Joshua's ministry. Hello, everyone. I'm Lazilia. I'm from Malaysia. I ask for prayer because I have multiple uterine fibroids for the last few years and grew bigger, especially this year, caused me problems. I started having lower right pain every day and it's difficult for me to walk fast or even lift up my head. And I also have tightness because the uterus, the size of the fibroid has enlarged my uterus. After prayer, I don't feel the right pain anymore and as you can see, I can lift up my head. Okay, and also moved, and also the tightness of my stomach was released. As I feel that the tightness get, go away, I also felt the pain go away, and I remember vomiting a few times. And I really want to give God all the glory. To God be all the glory. Buenos días, equipo de Manuel TV. Mi nombre es Kevin Eduardo Lima Zúñiga. Soy de Honduras en la ciudad de Tegucigalpa y este es testimonio cuando el profeta empezó a hacer la oración interactiva eh, 
me encomendé y conecté mi corazón al Señor Jesucristo para ser liberado y en eso yo sentí el poder de Dios cayendo sobre mí me dejó caer y tomó y me tomó para ser liberado gracias a todo eso ya soy libre, soy bendecido por la oración ungida del profeta Tibiocho y este es mi testimonio enseñando todas las sustancias que vomité que salieron cuando hizo la oración quiero darle las gracias al profeta Tibiocha por orar por mí gracias por los videos gracias al Señor Jesucristo principalmente por liberarme gracias porque lo necesitaba mi alma lo necesita 안녕하세요 한국에 사는 허슬기라고 합니다 이번 줌 사역을 통하여서 메말라 있던 나의 심령을 주님이 만져주심을 강력하게 느꼈습니다 많은 눈물을 흘렸고 기침과 가래를 뱉어냈습니다 마음의 평안과 행복이 절 찾아왔고 사역이 끝난 후 무거웠던 제 몸은 정말 말할 수 없을 정도로 가벼워짐을 느꼈습니다 하나님께 영광 올려드립니다 감사합니다 Soy Sonia Paxi de Bolivia. Hoy recibí el milagro que yo esperaba. Estaba mal de dolores de mis extremidades, de mis pies, rodilla, mi coxis, casi todo mi cuerpo. Hoy en esta oración yo me sané, estoy liviano mi cuerpo, gracias doy a Dios, y también a la vez expulsé de mi cuerpo un vómito, nunca había hecho que es amargo, rojo, algunos así, y me encuentro ahora liviano, estoy sano. Gracias a papá Dios, gracias Dios Todopoderoso, gracias por el apoyo de, de mi Joshua, de mi Manuel. Hay que seguir adelante con ese esmero, con ese apoyo a lo que más necesitamos de diferentes países, lugares. Ahora estoy liviano, entonces ya no me duele nada, mi coxis está bien. Está también mis pies, mis extremidades, mis manos, porque me, yo me dolía mi cuerpo, mi cabeza, a través de esa enfermedad COVID, yo me quedé con esa secuela, pero ahora estoy sana por la gloria de Dios. Gracias Jesús, gracias Padre Dios Todopoderoso, porque para Él no hay distancia, no hay fronteras, tan solamente Señor cree en Él. Gracias, Jesús. Здравствуйте, Мануэл ТВ. Во время молитвы, когда вышел пророк Тебе Джошуа и начал молиться, у меня поднялось внутри такое волнение, и оно таким криком вышло нечеловеческим и сопровождалось слезами, и были рвота с субстанциями. И через некоторое время вот этот вот эта дрожь вся вышла, вот этот весь крик виш, вышел, и ста, а, наступило облегчение. И я почувствовала, как а, наш Господь Иисус Христос освободил нас от всякого проклятия, всякое бремя убрал. А, также у меня была аллергия много лет, и я сейчас чувствую, как у, у меня все хорошо дышит, и я здорова. Во славу Иисуса Христа! Здравствуйте, Манал ТВ! Когда вот Началась молитва, я все время издевала, мне хотелось спать все время, вот беспрерывно прям зевала. А потом у меня был шум в ушах, он у меня не уходил до конца, прям вот просто шум и все. А также у меня в животе немного колотило, также у меня в течение месяца болела спина, очень сильно болела. И после окончания молитвы я, ну как, проверила, болит ли у меня спина и так, и сяк. И в итоге вся боль, которая у меня была месяц, прошла. 
Слава вот. Иисусу. Спасибо. Спасибо, Иисус. The problem with my neck was easy and now I feel free. I thank TB Joshua and Emmanuel Thiel and the entire team. I am Satish Kumar from India. I have a kidney stone uh, problem on my on both side in my body. Uh, when TB Joshua prayed for us, I feel free now and deliverance. Thank you TV Joshua, Emmanuel TV and the entire team. Thank you. Muy buenos días. Mi nombre es María Natalia López de Colombia. Dios les bendiga. El día de hoy vengo a presentar mi testimonio. Yo estaba sufriendo de depresión, de ansiedad, de insomnio, de inseguridad. Continuamente me sentía triste y agobiada. El día de hoy, en la oración interactiva, el profeta Tibi Joshua oró por mí. Toda esa desesperación, toda esa ansiedad, todo lo que yo sentía, desapareció. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor Jesucristo. Gracias Dios, gracias profeta Tibi Joshua. 저는 한국에 사는 박주희입니다. 이번에 영상 치유 기도를 통해서 하나님께서 저를 치유해 주신 은혜에 감사합니다. 우울증과 하반신 마비를 알았고 그래서 지팡이가 없으면 외출을 할 수도 없었는데 이제 지팡이 없이 걸을 수 있는 은혜를 주신 것을 믿습니다. 우울증으로 불안했던 마음이 기도를 받고 평안해졌고 저에게 자유를 주신 주님의 은혜에 감사합니다. 하나님께 영광 돌려드립니다. 감사합니다. 아멘. y el problema que más me llevó fue un problema de, del aliento que era muy pesado el aliento que tenía y para honra y gloria de Dios yo creo ya que el Señor me lo quitó doy gracias a Jesucristo por su obra en mí y nada, muchas bendiciones les deseo que Dios me bendiga grandemente al profeta Tim y a su equipo de Manuel TV a los socios, gracias Jesús Gracias, Señor. La honra y la gloria para ti. Feel uh, very good and feeling better right now. And just now I I vomit and just now I vomit and I I feel the healing and the presence of the Holy Spirit. And this is my vomit. I show you. This is my vomit. Thank you for the arrangement and all the. People that help. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Kripa Vincent from India. Today's interactive prayer session was very powerful. Awesome presence of God. I felt like a strong wind blowing and my feet were going off the ground. I believe that my case is settled. As the prophet always says, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Today my destiny is released and I'm going to shine for Jesus for the rest of my life. I want to thank God and Prophet T.B. Joshua for this opportunity. And I would also like to thank the Emmanuel TV team for putting in so much efforts and making it possible for us 
to attend this interactive press session. Thank you and God bless you. Good morning. This is Joseph Winston and I'm from India. It was such a privilege to be part of today's interactive prayer session. It was awesome presence of God we could sense in this place and our story will change. As we were praying, I started to get business calls, which has not happened in the last six months. I would like to thank Prophet TB Joshua and the entire team, which made this possible for us. We will come with the mother of testimony in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hola, mi nombre es Nereida Ramirez. Soy de la Ciudad de México y pues mi experiencia es que yo creo que a través de la oración se rompe toda maldición generacional. Estoy muy contenta y agradezco a todo el equipo de TV Manuel porque han sido muy generosos y han tenido muchas atenciones para con todos los que no podemos de alguna manera ir hasta Nigeria, pero no hay barreras. Eh, Dios hace algo siempre en nuestras vidas. Muchas gracias. Aleluya. 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 정말 하나님께 감사를 드립니다. 기도하는 동안 속에서 많은 구토물이 올라오고 또이 입으로 토해지는 것을 보았습니다. 그리고 나서 얼마나 몸이 가벼워지고 마음이 편안해지고 행복하게 되었는지요. 너무너무 하나님께 감사를 드립니다. 저는 이번 중사의 기도를 통해서 주님의 자비와 사랑이 마음에 알려졌습니다. 성령의 큰 은혜를 받았고요. 그리고 큰 능력이 임하고 속으로부터 구토물이 토해지고 몸이 가벼워졌습니다. 하나님의 크신 사랑이 마음에 알려진 것에 대해서 주 예수님께 감사드립니다. 아멘. 아멘. 하나님 감사합니다. Добрый вечер. Меня зовут Сандра. Вчера мы молились тебе, Джошу, в прямом эфире. И я расскажу немного о своих ощущениях, которые я пережила. Во время молитвы я испытывала состояние, что у меня э, шатало в разные стороны, я стоять не могла, или я, у меня состояние оцепенения происходило. Но в какие-то моменты наступало состояние, когда мне становилось просто жарко, как будто прям вот огонь касается каких-то частей моего тела. После молитвы, конечно, я испытывала колоссальную легкость прекрасное состояние, настроение. Я очень благодарна за эту молитву. Me llamo Vicente Bori. Soy de Valencia, de Liria. Eh, esta mañana ha sido muy fuerte para mí. Eh, eh, cuando estaba en la sesión, eh, ha salido Tibi y Joshua y he notado que me entraba un rayo de, de, como si fuera de luz por las venas y un escalofrío muy fuerte y, y después he empezado a, a vomitar y, y ahora estoy mucho mejor eh, me encuentro mucho mejor gracias a Dios y, y le doy muchas gracias a Dios por, porque me ha liberado muchísimas gracias voy a enseñaros lo que he eh, vomitado Gracias a Dios. Gracias a Dios. Good morning and thank you Lord Jesus to deliver me from every addiction of pornography and spirit of anger and spirit of uh, setbacks and failures. And while prophet were praying for us, I felt the heat in my body. I am delivered totally. Oh, thank you Lord Jesus to deliver me and Emmanuel. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. Since the man of God, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for me, I'm free. I'm free. I can take off my knee brace now. I take off my knee brace. I can flex my knees. I can flex my knees. I can walk. I can walk. I'm walking. I'm walking. Stronger. 
Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can do squats. I can do squats. I can do squats. Free it. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Buenos días, y vence hoy. Eh, mi nombre es Zoraida Parra, de Colombia. Eh, ahorita que estuve en la oración interactiva, doy testimonio de lo que el Señor, el Espíritu Santo hizo conmigo. Fui sana en el nombre de Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Esto fue el resultado de lo que arrojé, de las sustancias venenosas que arrojé. Eh, tenía problemas de de dolor en la espalda, me dolía mucho la espalda baja, tenía un dolor fuerte en, en la, a, a la altura del glúteo derecho y en mis piernas, en el talón derecho, eh, no me podía agachar, no podía hacer esto, eh, no podía mover mis piernas, me costaba dificultad sentarme, pararme, pero ahorita lo puedo hacer gracias al Señor, gloria a Dios, lo puedo hacer ya con facilidad, con rapidez, con soltura y muchas gracias al profeta Tibillosa porque es un hombre bendecido, es un hombre que lo utiliza el Señor. Gracias Jesús, soy sana en el nombre de Jesús. 안녕하세요. 저는 한국에 사는 최희연입니다. 오늘 기도를 통하여서 뜨겁게 역사하시는 성령님을 체험할 수 있는 은혜의 시간이 되었습니다. 또한 기도로 또한 사무함으로 주님 앞에 나아갔었는데 주님께서 정말 섬세하게 저의 머리부터 발끝까지 연약한 부분을 치료해 주시고 저의 상한 마음도 다독여 주시는 주님을 느끼고 만나고 체험할 수 있었습니다. 모든 영광 하나님께 올려드리며 감사합니다. Hola Emanuel TV. Eh, quiero dar mi testimonio después de la oración interactiva desde acá de Córdoba, Argentina. Mi nombre es María Elena Cabrera. Eh, recibí la oración del profeta Tibilloso, estoy muy emocionada, agradecida, recibí mi sanación en el nombre de Jesús, lo creía y lo recibí, estoy re agradecida, acá quiero mostrarles la faja de mis hernias de disco, que ya no la voy a usar más, y eh, de mis dolores de cabeza, mis migrañas, toda la gloria y la honra sea para él y agradecida con Emanuel TV que me contactaron. Hi, uh, we participated today in the interactive prayer meeting with uh, Prophet TV Joshua and we're healed, we're delivered, Amen. we're set free in Jesus' name. And my back's feeling good, so praise the Lord. Emmanuel. Слава нашему Господу Иисусу Христу. Доброе утро и побеждайте сегодня. Меня зовут Светлана, и во время молитвы я испытала невероятную любовь Господа. Я почувствовала Его любовь, я почувствовала благодать, такое прикосновение, такую легкость. Внутри посетила такая радость, что как будто я нахожусь не на земле, а на небесах. Аллилуйя нашему Господу, слава Ему. Благодарю пророка Тебе Джошева, благодарю всех молитвенных воинов, всех, кто трудится там на этой Ниве, благодарю. Я уверена, что я исцелена, я уверена, что я освободна в Господе, что Он меня освободил. Также моя подруга присутствовала здесь, и она получила исцеление, она почувствовала эту любовь. Мы вместе с ней радовались и смеялись. И благодарили Господа, мы только Его благодарили. Ее вырвало. Слава Иисусу, слава Иисусу, она получила освобождение. Благодарю Господа за Его эту любовь, за исцеляющую силу. Аллилуйя, слава Богу. Доброе утро и побеждайте сегодня. Аллилуйя. Мой номер Джанет. И, bueno, quisiera darle la gloria al Señor y darle gracias también porque eh, Él ha ministrado mi vida a través de, de la oración que hicieron en el grupo de, del profeta Tibi Joshua y mientras yo estaba eh, orando Él puso sus manos sobre sobre la pantalla y en el momento en que él puso sus manos yo sentí como que algo desde mi barriga empezó a retorcer y empezó a salir y empecé a vomitar y 
Y la verdad que después me sentí libre, me sentí como más, más tranquila, más en paz. Entonces yo quiero darle la gloria al Señor y también darle las gracias al profeta Tibi Joshua, a todo el equipo, animarles para que continúen haciendo la obra del Señor porque se ven los resultados, yo lo he vivido y también a la de mi madre que ahora les, les paso con ella que ella me estuvo sosteniendo el teléfono pero ella también tiene el testimonio que contar aquí se las paso Buenas tardes, soy Prudencia quiero darle gracias a Dios por la libertad que ha traído en mi vida yo venía de, en la noche con un, con unos vértigos que giraba mi, mi cabeza, pero gracias a Dios que a través de la palabra, a través de la oración de, del profeta Tibiosa, he recibido libertad y le doy gracias al Señor, por, le doy la gloria y honra a, a nuestro Dios, a nuestro Padre, y gracias por la oración y, y que sigan adelante porque necesita mucha gente esa liberación y yo pues bueno, doy gracias a Dios por esa liberación. Hi, hello. My name is Rhea from Philippines. This is my sister Ivy and hello. this is my husband. I send prayer requests Ray. for my family's deliverance, healing and breakthroughs. When the interactive prayer session begins, I feel very emotional. We all deliver. We all feel free in Jesus' name. We are very, very grateful. Thank you. Buenas, eh, soy Liliana, soy de Argentina. Padecía de diabetes, tiroides, problema de riñón, de páncreas, eh, de mi hígado. Tenía un lumbago, problema en la columna, una pequeña desviación. Este... Gracias a Dios he podido participar en la oración de interacción cuando el hombre de Dios oraba por, nos, por nuestras vidas, por nuestras enfermedades, que seamos sanados. Eh, he tenido la sensación, he sentido que mi, mi espalda, mi cuerpo era una cosa, una piedra, una piedra, me pesaba, me pesaba. Yo mucho tiempo no podía estar parada porque por mi problema de columna enseguida me caía, pero gracias a Dios he podido aguantar, soportar de estar parada, aún así teniendo ese peso en mi espalda. Eh, gracias a Jesús por haber sido sanada. También quiero comentarles que hace más de 42 años que fumaba, no podía dejar ese vicio, era algo in increíble, una desesperación, eh, no, yo si tenía que salir a la madrugada salía con tal de buscar el cigarrillo, después de la oración no tengo ganas de fumar, no tengo ganas de fumar, les cuento una experiencia porque he salido a, hasta una despensa que está cerca de mi casa a comprar otras cositas que necesito y el de, de la despensa me decía, ha aumentado su cigarrillo, y le digo, gloria a Dios, y gracias a mi Jesús, ya no pienso fumar más y no voy a fumar más, no voy a fumar más. Que sea la honra y la gloria para mi Jesucristo, gracias Jesús por toda tu misericordia hacia mi vida y hacia mi familia. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. 어 당뇨로 인해서 고통을 받 그리고 또 왼쪽 옆구리에 통증이 있고 어 마비 증상이 에, 있, 가끔 있었는데 그 아픈 옆구리를 어 TV 조샤 목사님과 어 선지자 제자분이 기도해 주실 때 갑자기 거기에 불이 들어오면서 막 가려워가지고 박박 긁었거든요 그런데 그 통증이 사라졌습니다 당뇨병도 사라진 줄 믿습니다. 모든 영가 하나님께 올려드리고 어, TV 목사님 감사를 드립니다. Hi, my name's Sash. I'm from Australia. Um, I just received interactive prayer from the Emmanuel TV team from TV Joshua and Wise Man Racine. And uh, I just want to thank God. All of my problems, all of my sicknesses, diseases, now gone. 
and I just want to thank the Emmanuel TV team for making themselves available to God and I just want to thank everybody. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you from Australia. This program is not time bound. As you watch the healing and deliverance taking place on Emmanuel TV, you too are receiving your own. Let us know what the Lord has done for you. Send us an email with your testimony and contact details, including your phone number to info at Emmanuel.tv. As Psalm 5113 says, Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Remember, you watched someone else's testimony, the healing and deliverance they received as they were prayed for, and that inspired your faith. Let someone also be inspired by your own testimony. We are praying for you. Freely we receive, freely we give. Your salvation is uppermost. Here is a comment someone posted on our official Facebook page. Free of charge, no online payment required. Well, we know this is not free from the server. The church is doing all the necessary payments. Viewers, truly, nothing is too big for the salvation of your soul. Remember, fraudsters and scammers cannot do anything without self-reward, e.g. money. Those who will help you for the salvation of your soul will help you freely because freely they were given. Falling into the hands of fraudsters or scammers suggests that you are ignorant. Remember, ignorance is a sin. Let us do everything in line with God. Desperation is not faith. As Prophet T.B. Joshua was ministering to the people during one of the Emmanuel TV Partners meetings, this man offered the following prayer for the man of God. Thank man you, of Jesus. God, I'm from Ghana. Thank I have severe Jesus. problem in my brain. I have had brain and I have brain, my brain in my brain. Man of God, I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you for this grace. Father, you said what you permit here on earth, you also permit in heaven. What we do not permit, Lord, you will not permit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you took Moses, Lord, as you took a prophet Elijah, Lord Jesus, you, at the time came, the Father himself took you. And Father, when the time is coming, when he grows, his strength will grow. When he grow, his strength will grow. His life will grow. His anointing will grow. And Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, when the time comes, you will take him as you went. Lord, the name of Jesus, I decree that on this holy ground, in the name of Jesus. And when he's living, Lord, this anointing, this grace, Lord, will be a triple on the, on the prophet that you leave behind to carry on this grace and this mission for your glory. Father, this I thank you for this grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. This is amen. Prophet T.B. Joshua. June 12th, 1963 to June 5th, 2021. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the Prophets. Amos 3, verse 7. On Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting. Time for everything. The time to come here and the time to return home after service. God has taken his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, home as it should be by divine will. His last moments on earth were spent in the service of God. This is what he was born for, lived for, and died for. As Prophet T.B. Joshua says, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. Prophet T.B. Joshua leaves a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that is living for generations yet unborn. The Synagogue, Church of All Nations, and Emmanuel TV family 
appreciate your love, praise and concern at this time and request for a time of privacy for the family. Here are Prophet T.B. Joshua's last words. Let us watch and pray. One life for Christ is all we have. One life for Christ is so dear. Emmanuel, God with us. Prophet T.B. Joshua 12 juin 1963 au 5 juin 2021 En effet, le Seigneur l'Éternel ne fait rien sans avoir révélé son secret à ses serviteurs, les prophètes. Amos 3, verset 7 le samedi 5 juin 2021, le prophète Tibi Joshua s'est exprimé lors de la rencontre des partenaires d'Emmanuel TV. Il y a un temps pour tout. Le temps de venir ici pour prier et le temps de retourner à la maison après le service. Dieu a rappelé son serviteur, le prophète Tibi Joshua, à la maison comme il se doit par sa volonté divine. Ces derniers instants sur terre ont été dédiés au service de Dieu. C'est pour cela qu'il est né, qu'il a vécu et qu'il est mort. Comme le dit le prophète Tibi Joshua, la meilleure façon d'utiliser la vie est de la consacrer à quelque chose qui lui survivra. Le prophète Tibi Joshua laisse un héritage de service et de sacrifice au royaume de Dieu. Un héritage vivant pour les générations à venir. La synagogue église de toutes les nations et la famille d'Emmanuel TV apprécient votre amour, vos prières et votre sollicitude en cette période et sollicitent un temps d'intimité pour la famille. Voici les derniers mots du prophète Tibi Joshua. Let us watch. Et veillons et prions. Une vie pour Christ est tout ce que nous avons. Une vie pour Christ est si précieuse. Prophète TV Joshua. 12 de junio de 1963 al 5 de junio de 2021. En verdad, nada hace el Señor Omnipotente sin antes revelar sus designios a sus siervos, los profetas. Amos 3, versículo 7. El sábado 5 de junio del 2021, el profeta Tibi Joshua habló durante la reunión de socios de Manuel TV. Tiempo para todo. Tiempo para venir aquí. Tiempo para volver a casa después del servicio. Dios se ha llevado a su siervo, el profeta Tibi Joshua, a casa. Como debe ser, por voluntad divina. Sus últimos momentos en la tierra los invirtió en el servicio de Dios. Esto es, para lo que nació, vivió y murió como dice el profeta Tibi Joshua la mejor manera de usar la vida es invertirla en algo que perdurará el profeta Tibi Joshua deja un legado de servicio y sacrificio al reino de Dios que vive para las generaciones aún por nacer la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones y la familia de Manuel TV agradecen su amor sus oraciones y su preocupación en este momento y piden un tiempo de privacidad para la familia. Aquí están las últimas palabras del profeta Tibi Joshua. Velemos y oremos. Una vida para Cristo es todo lo que tenemos. Una vida para Cristo es muy preciada. 
Emmanuel, Dios con nosotros. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7 And he speaks in parables. Let's listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua during a live service on Sunday, the 5th of October, 2014. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the edge. Huh? No. <laughs> If God has shown me TV Joshua, today is your last day on earth. And ah, I, I should come out and say, Praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable. So that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet TB Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it. In parables. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. You may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time and for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home after service. Many people want to be here, but they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. You. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Yeah. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 26, watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray, and then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. So say, people. Anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. There's so much kidnapping, killing, and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people while they come in here. But they are only to receive prayer. With their sham, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Yes, please. Can you give me a summary? The reason why we want to resort to interactive. You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason. Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India, Let me hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this, you'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so, that these people are very far away, and uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. Thank you, thank you. This is the moment.
prophet TB Joshua left the service. Let's open our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday the 5th of June 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Time to come here for prayer and time to return home after service. Now shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV Partners a revelation of how his servant prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And sir, we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, where we are on the mountain at the partner meetings we were praising the lord so there's a lot of worship going on so i stood up i was worshiping the lord i was deeply in worship immediately my eyes opened i saw something people were running into scatter this is my revelation and uh, as they were running around so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. I opened my eyes because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity, like as fast as electricity. It entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Yeshua came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach. We were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our Daddy in the Lord, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him, he was moving very fast. I feel somehow because I haven't seen him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was, before, the, before he left, I could recall that the antelope were running out, out of that garden where the angels is. They ran to this part. Then I, 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 I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us that we are blessed, that we are blessed. So we received the water. After we received the anointing water, we were very happy. Then we all went back to the, the, to the hotel room. This is what I experienced. I can easily tell you directly that our Papa did not just die. No, God 
sent his angel and he took him home like Elijah. I want to assure you that God is real and our father, Prophet T.P. Joshua, is indeed a man of God. I saw the angel that came to took him home and it is the Lord doing. I can as well tell you that if every man of God can be called home this way, can be called home this way, it will be marvelous because it is not easy. It is only Elijah have been called home this way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angel landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come a bit, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point. They were there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where we, the partners, uh, where we were praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us. And he said, a time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here. And a time to return home after service. So we began to say that why as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me, it's, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then it got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. He, he landed from that point and he came down from that point there. You can see it from where the first angels landed from. They came down from the same point and they, they came together. As the fourth angel came down and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, was already ministering to us. Then immediately, his continent changed immediately. His atmosphere changed immediately. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He began to move. He moved around. He moved here first. And he moved to that way. And he turned around and he passed through this gate. Very fast. I have not seen him in that kind of mood before. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own running through this place to this part. They began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the, angel, the, the antelope, they, they were running a mass, they ran to this place. That was when the fourth angel landed. And he walked through this place very fast. As he walked down, I was watching him. He was moving, moving, moving. It was not like him. Because formally, he would come and lay hands on us. He did not lay hands on anybody on that very day. He didn't lay hands on anybody. He left us. So after a while, they were sharing the anointing water to us. Then after sharing the anointing water, they began to talk to us that our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that he has sent him to tell us that we are blessed. That was when we began to feel relaxed. Then before I had the news about his passing on. So I want to assure you, 
from my own observation and what the revelation that God gave to me, the angel came and carried our father home. He did not die. Yes, it is God's time. It is God calling. God has, God took him home for him to have rest. I wish God will give me this grace because what I saw, I am assuring you that I cannot explain it because there is a lot of shock in me because I can't just express what I saw that very day. Remember his last word. He said, watch and pray. That was exact language of Jesus Christ on that very last day. Let us watch and pray. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable, so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Is his gift to mankind. When we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we see that Christ and his word are one. Learn to dream again as we look to God through his word by his spirit. Get ready to open your heart to God's word, faith, and spirit as we listen to what God has to say in today's standard for life. Our life is a race. Our life is what? A race. Upon your own strength, you cannot rely. Tell your neighbor, upon my own strength, I cannot rely. Let me walk in the presence of God. Begin to confess whom you are in his presence. Upon my own strength, I cannot rely. Let me walk in the presence of God. In his presence, angels unspeakably more numerous, God infinitely more powerful. Walk in his presence. I'm linked up with God. Defeat and failure are things of the past. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Second Timothy chapter 4. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who we judge the living and the dead, and the view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. What does this mean? That is, in our spiritual walk with the Lord, there are good and hard times alike. Correct and rebuke, encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when men will not put up with sun doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their ish ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside myth but you keep your head in all situation endure hardship do work of an evangelist discharge all duties of your ministry six for i'm already being poor out like a drink offering and the time has come for my departure I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. 
I have kept the faith. Now there is a store for me, the crown of righteousness. Now is in store for me, the crown of righteousness. This will take us to the title, Our Life is a Race. Our life is what? A race. We that walk with the Lord run a straight race. We that are walking with the Lord run a straight race through his good grace. Grace in the soul is a new life in the soul. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Apostle Paul is saying here that I have done the work of my day and generation. He's telling you do the work of your day and generation in the same manner. As a Christian, our life is a race. As a minister, our life is a warfare. I call upon my warfare with a great deal of satisfaction. It says here that now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness. That is, the crown of believers is a crown of righteousness purchased by the righteousness in Christ Jesus. Believers have it. Not at present, yet it is sure. They have it not in possession and yet it is sure. Tell your neighbor, I have it not in possession and yet it is sure. For it is laid up for them. Back to that second Timothy. For I am ready, being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. With what pleasure he speaks of dying, he calls it his departure or his release. Death. To a good man is his release from the imprisonment of this world and his departure to the enjoyment of another world. Blessed assurance, Jesus is
may be seated thank you lord he does not cease to be but is only removed from one world to another i have fought the good fight and i have finished the race i've kept the faith now there is store for me the crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge will award to me on that day verse 10 because he loved this war has deserted me and has gone the love of this world is often the cause of turning from the truth and ways of Jesus Christ Apostle Paul was guided by divine inspiration as long as we live we must continue to learn because apostle did not neglect human needs in seeking the necessity of life with what pleasure he looks back upon the life he had lived when you look at verse 6 7 there he did not fear death he said i had fought a good fight and i have kept the faith the cause is good the victory is sure we must fight it out and finish the course tell your neighbor we must fight it out and finish the course i can hear you again his life was a warfare his warfare was accomplished so his race was wrong well i have kept the faith i kept the doctrine of the gospel and the grace of faith i never betrayed any of them tell your neighbor i have kept the faith kept the doctrine of gospel the grace of faith i never betrayed any of them to be able to speak in this manner toward the end of our days what comfort unspeakable comfort will it afford tell your neighbor to be able to speak in this manner towards the end of our days what comfort unspeakable comfort will it afford from the emmanuel tv studios in lagos nigeria the spirit of god touches every continent and nation through video call reaching you in your home or wherever you may be distance is not a barrier for the holy spirit to locate you and make all things new as you join us for today's interactive prayer sessions in jesus powerful name distance is not a barrier Lucía Álvarez, soy peruana de nacimiento, pero vivo en Australia hace mucho tiempo. Los problemas que tengo son 
ataques de pánico, no duermo las 24 horas, la espalda me duele demasiado, demasiado, ya no es una cosa incontrolable, y la espalda se me contractura demasiado el cuello, todo, toda esta parte de acá, y a veces se me, eh, esta parte me jala, como que, y, y se me cae un poco la saliva, las piernas me duele, todo el cuerpo me duele, y el doctor me dijo que tengo fibromalgia y que tengo soporosis. Y el neurólogo me ha dado solo el psiquiatra también, pastillas es muy fuerte que, que no puedo dejarlas, ¿no? Ya estoy cansada porque si no las tomo, me siento muy mal. Ahora ya tengo, hace un año más o menos me ha venido todo el cuerpo, se me pone helado, 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 helado frío, frío, y me da miedo y me empiezo a, a dar pánico, ¿no? Y quiero llorar y no puedo. Utilizo la faja porque me duele demasiado la cintura, la parte de, la, de atrás, como que se me abre la, la, la espina, la espina dorsal, y con esta faja me la ajusto bien y ya puedo mitigar un poco el dolor y puedo estar parada, caminar un poquito más de lo que camino, pero siempre llego a mi casa y me tengo que contracturar total, porque todo viene de por allá y todo esto. También tengo el problema de los oídos que son 24 horas tengo el tinnitus tomo demasiadas pastillas cada tres horas y si no tomo me entra el pánico yo quiero que Jesús me cure que venga que me cure y yo pueda estar feliz con mi familia y vuelva a ser la misma chica de antes de antes my name is Lucy from Australia I have pain all over my body as a result of fibromyalgia and osteoporosis. I have to use this lumbar corset because of the severe pain in my back and waist. I also suffer from tinnitus, noise in the ears, 24 hours a day. I want Jesus to heal me and restore my family so I can be the woman I was before. My name is Aiguru. I am from Kazakhstan. I have been suffering from Pakistan chronic bronchitis. Uh, chest infection, uh, sinusitis for nine years already. Because of shortness of breath, I can't walk for a long distance. Uh, it's very difficult for me to go up, uh, you know, to walk stairs. And uh, when I walk, I still have to stop after every 50 meters because it's very difficult for me. I use steroid inhaler every single day for nine years already. I don't use it. Uh, I wouldn't be uh, able to breath and I wouldn't be able to, to do anything, even to walk. I want Jesus Christ to tell me in the name of Jesus. <music> Buenas tardes, mi nombre es María Mayor de Gutiérrez, soy de Venezuela. El que está aquí a mi lado es mi esposo, Giovanni Gutiérrez. Mi esposo ha sido afligido hace un tiempo de dos años para acá con una enfermedad llamada eh, fibrosis pulmonar idiopática. Es una enfermedad que va endureciendo los pulmones. God's word is his gift to mankind. When we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we see that Christ and his word are one. Learn to dream again as we look to God through his word by his spirit. Get ready to open your heart to God's word, faith and spirit as we listen to what God has to say in today's standard for life. Glory. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. I will not look at your appearance or the way you dance and or the testimony you have given to judge you. 
we need to examine all this. Do you want me to judge you by your dancing, your appearance, which is very admirable? So, I mean, let's look beyond that. Hallelujah. That is why we are here today. That we cannot just say, oh my God, what a wonderful man. By mere looking at the appearance, that is why we are here today. You cannot just say, hey, because you smile, you smile. Because are you such in heart? Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, thank you for your time. And uh, we salute your face, putting everything behind, and uh, say, yes, you believe something is about to happen, something that will change your world, your step, your direction, your focus. Wow, it's going to happen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our wow, message today, commitment enhances faith. You cannot grow in faith if you don't make a total commitment. Everywhere, what is happening in this nation is happening in another nation. Just exactly what is happening everywhere. Economy, oppression, religious oppression, political oppression. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. We are still on it. Uh, today we take our reading from uh, John 15. That will be the proof test. After reading the John 15, we have some book also that will help you. The book of Luke 14. Take your reading from verse 26, 26, 27. It will be of also very important to this message we are about to deliver today. And uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew 16, verse 24. And uh, the book of uh, John 3, 18. Also, it's very vital, very important for you. So, but I'm reading the book of John as proof test today. If I may take the title of this test, we say the war hates the disciples. Are you there? The world hates the disciples. And then you are one of the disciples. Disciple of Jesus. The follower of Jesus. I mean, you are one of the followers. So that is just the summary of what we are about to talk about today. So now I'm taking reading from verse 18. If the war hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. Keep in mind that it hated me first. Like what has happened to many of us today? You say, hey, hey, this is so much trouble. Your father too had that similar challenge. Our Lord Jesus Christ. If you belong to the world, it will love you as it own. That is, if you are one of the people, they will love you. Because you are one of them. As it is, you do not belong to the world. Are you sure you are not one of them? That is the question. As it is, you do not belong to the world. But I have chosen you out of the world. Me, we are in the world, but not part of it. If you are a follower, though you are in the war, but you are not part. That is what the Bible says here. That is why the war hates you. That is why they will hate you. Because you are not part of everything that stands for the war. There's barrier between us and everything here in the world, if you are a disciple. There is barrier between us and everything here in the world. 
We are now in verse 20. Remember what I told you. Come on. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, you should remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. Who is our master? Take your reading from 18 to the end. John 3, verse 18. Very, very important for you. And Matthew 16. That will really help you from 34. If you take your reading to 27. Basically, with what we have read, basically, we need to give up our life here on earth and gain internal life in heaven. There are two key words Jesus is explaining in that text. That the moment we become identified or accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior genuinely. Take note of the word genuinely. Then the world will hate us. But if you have not received him genuinely, there's a counterfeit fake and everybody claim to be a born again, born again, did it. But the evidence that you receive him genuinely, the war will hurt you. That you receive Jesus genuinely, truly. You know, when you hate, hate, you know what it means. The war will hate you. The war, which is currently under satanic control, will hate you. It will hit you in exact the same manner it hit Jesus. Secondly, some of us will say, why should we suffer or die? After all, Jesus won the victory on the cross and suffered for us. Yes, he won the victory and suffered for me and you. Yes, but question we need to ask ourselves. What did Jesus say in John 15, verse 20? What did he say? Jesus said, The servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted him, they will also persecute you. Anyone who claims he is not to suffer, because Jesus did it for him, is actually contradicting what Jesus said. Opposite to what Jesus said. Like I have said, basically, we must give up our life here on earth and gain eternal life in heaven. In other words, when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are accepting citizenship in heaven and dead here on earth. Total commitment is what Jesus demands throughout the gospel. Total commitment. This doctrine that say no suffering, no health challenges, no hardship, is evident that you are not really saved. 
by saying, ah, no hardship, no health challenges. A man can be sick in body and yet being a candidate of heaven, a friend of Jesus. Allow your situation to rule you. When you are sick, you begin to see Jesus in the bad lights. I was working with the law. It's both good and hard times. Yes, when the grace are good and when the grace go all the way. There's a lesson for good. Best lesson when things are going other ways. We learn best when things are going other way than when things are going our way. Tell your neighbor, we learn best when things are going other way than when things are going our way. Why are you here today? You are here because things are not seems to go your way. If things are going your way, you will likely not know TB Joshua today. You will likely not be here today. TV Joshua, I need the appointment to see you. Please give me an appointment. Me, there's no association, just a, an appointment. TV Joshua, hello. Uh, we have like to have an appointment to see Mr. TV Joshua or Bishop TV Joshua. This is the name they call me outside there. So this is, I would like to have an appointment to see Bishop T.B. Joshua. We cannot separate warfare from salvation. That is the problem we have facing today. We cannot what? And true salvation will put us into direct conflict with Satan. We put out war, direct conflict. Because there's no true salvation. Hey. Any moment from when we start, they fight both physical and spiritual. They cannot stand me spiritually. They cannot stand me. But they are there, boom, here. Sometimes I do like this. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What are you saying? Hey, because I don't tell you what I'm facing. This flesh. By the time I start now, I'll do like this. I'll put this one. <laughs> By the time they're manifesting, you see them. The, what do you think is the reason why I don't put on tie? <laughs> if they grab my tie, you will likely help me. <laughs> I'll call you to come and rescue the situation. Not that they intentional do that, but they have to fight back. It's not intentional. By the time they realize themselves, they say, oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. The day you make a total commitment to Jesus, you have declared war against Satan. I said total. Not that kind of the one we declare. You are still whining out and dying with these people. The day you make a total commitment to Jesus, you have declared what? War against Satan. By identifying yourself with Jesus of Nazareth, you have made yourself a bitter enemy oh my gosh what jesus purchase you you become aliens here on earth stranger you know stranger uh -huh. you know that's why in your country that they have no state permit, no working permit, nothing. Even their professor in that country, they can do any job to leave. No right to leave the country. No matter the grade, no matter the position in your country, you are ready to do any job just to cover up. 
Once Jesus purchased you, you become aliens here on earth. Tell your neighbor. There is a barrier between us and everything here on earth. What is barrier? You cannot go where Jesus will not be welcome. There are many places the world go, you cannot go. You must go where Jesus will be welcome. In the world today, pretentious calm. Are you talking in every circle? A staff will enter the office to greet the, the chairman of the company, will say, Good morning, sir. But this is not such in heart. After closing the door, we do like this. And when they are doing this to chairman of the company, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. The chairman said, good morning. <laughs> you know, the, 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 he doesn't know they are deceiving him. Many of you are working in a place where you know the one that senior you, your direct boss, is someone you know that below you academically, in every area of life, below you. But what will you do? But you have to eat. And you keep greeting. Acting pretentiously. I say you love him, but inside you are not happy. But you need money, and you are a Christian. What kind of Christian is that? There is a barrier between us and everything. Here, yeah. On earth, once Jesus purchases us, we become aliens. The reason why your confession and what you believe you have said in the past have not been reflected, I say, Jesus, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. But one thing we must know about acceptance before you can be accepted. Commitment, ask Jesus to accept you. Say, Lord Jesus, here I am. I'm a sinner. Watch me to your pressure, blood. Save my soul. You drop cigarettes. You stop going to nightclub. You stop fights. You stop envy, jealousy. It could be at that moment, not such in heart, but at that moment you drop everything, everything, but not such a heart. Until your heart accepts what you are saying, you are such in heart, then commitment. Ask Jesus to accept you. There are many things you have done and you claim you have done and you are still doing, but you are not searching heart. You are not like that in your heart. That is why if you drop cigarette, Lord Jesus, accept me, I will follow Jesus. You stop cigarette. But in your dream, you keep smoking cigarettes. When you dream, they will give you cigarettes. <laughs> By the time you wake up, you feel it, this odor in your mouth. You feel it, you, in that sense of you, you know, I smoke cigarettes. Mm. That is not for me. But this keeps happening to you in your dream. You stop drinking, but you find yourself drinking, drinking, drinking in your dream. You are a type that you humanize. You have stopped it because you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. But in your dream, 20 women, 20 men, because you are not such a heart. That is why this thing will continue to reflect. That is the work commitment we are talking about. Commitment as Jesus to accept you. 
commitment now stand as a bridge as a link a goal between as an intermediary between us and jesus commitment mean minutes minutes with all your heart the moment you make a commitment you are going to be tested and try on it to be sure that really you mean what you're saying yes faithfulness i'm faithful i'm faithful test will come test will come to show that really are you real are you real or you are faking yourself the moment you make commitment you are going to be what well, tested and try on it when you stand on your commitment throughout testing jesus will give you more and more and more and more faith as you go along you cannot grow in faith if you don't make a commitment tell your neighbor you know faith is a pure gift from god faith is a pure work from who from god you cannot grow in faith if you don't make a commitment and only faith places god only faith places him so where are we going now at this point you should be able to know if you are a christian of you are about to be as a christian as a believer as a pastor as a bishop as a prophet in every step in every move in every move it measure must come i mean a suggestion must come to us from the spirit that the action be performed Like I'm, I'm facing you. you, see me facing you. I was here. It made sure move, move. Need the place. Turn back. There must be corresponding power. A suggestion must come to us for the spirits you see me that's why sometimes when i behave here you say what is wrong with this man nothing wrong with me i'm a servant i cannot dictate the kind of direction the kind of position what to say I cannot decide what suffering to be. I cannot decide. I'm a servant. I'm an alien, a stranger here on earth. A stranger, you have to listen to your master. Someone is controlling you. But we behave today. You see the way you behave. When you talk, please, if you don't leave that place, I'll show you. I'll show you. You draw a turntable for the week from now to next Friday. What you want to do tomorrow, next tomorrow, you iron your different attire, you iron them down. Oh, I'll wear this on Monday. I'll wear this on Tuesday, Friday. How do you know that you will live to see? Does it? When you are an alien, you are a stranger, you are a servant, how do you know you, you live to wear all those dress? That is one of the big insults we often give to God. Embarrassment. It's one of the biggest embarrassment to decide what you will do tomorrow, next tomorrow. Ah, what is the position of God? 
We own now. God own our future. You take over today, you take over future. Our life has been like that because of knowledge of senses, which is not creative. The day you wake up and say, oh God, next, I don't know, over to you, God. Then you are a follower of Jesus. The fear of God will be there. Just wake up and say, ah. They call you, hello, will you come and see me tomorrow? I don't know, I'm a servant of God. Hello, the meeting is next Tuesday. What time are you leaving home? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm an alien. I'm a stranger. I need to hear from above to know whether I will see tomorrow. Then, yes, yeah, child of God, you begin to live great to represent God. That's some life we're supposed to prepare to begin to live, to reset your future. The what is it's upside down. The what is upside down. Right now, you can start it now. Leave your nest. When I say nest, a second. Leave it for God. Now you can do whatever you want to do. It's over to you. Because you give an account to God. You can do whatever you want to do. Now you can beat your brother. Remember, you give an account. But nest, nest means future. God owns our future. Now, our. Now, the Lord can say to Mama here, please. Come along with me. You may say no. Because he gave us discretion. That is why he asked that man at the pool of Bethesda, what can I do for you? <laughs> uh? <laughs> what can I do for you? He's supposed to say, please rise and walk. He said, what can I do for you? Because he knows there's discretion. The man could say, look, leave me. I don't need anything from you. So in the same way, as you are on the sea, the Lord can ask you, leave there. You say, no, I'm not leaving. It's not going to do anything to you. You know you give account for your disobedience. You give account for your disobedience in full sure. Account is full sure. You give account in full sure, but now, yours. You can start your life by living that full sureness to God. Not those plans you have already. It's an embarrassment. Start that practice today. Tell your neighbor, I want to see you tomorrow. And your neighbor should say, look, I'm a stranger. I'm a servant. I need to consult my boss. And who is your boss? Tell your neighbor now. Tell your neighbor. I want to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm an alien. I'm a servant. So thank you, Jesus. As Prophet TB Joshua was ministering to the people during one of the Emmanuel TV Partners meetings, this man offered the following prayer for the man of God. Thank man you, of Jesus. God, I'm from Ghana. Thank I have severe Jesus. problem in my brain. I have had brain and I have had my brain, my brain. My... Manawa, I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you for this grace. Father, you said what you permit here on earth, you also permit in heaven. What we do not permit, Lord, you will not permit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you took Moses, Lord, as you took a prophet Elijah, Lord Jesus, you, at the time came, the Father himself took you. And Father, when the time is coming, when he grows, his strength will grow. When he grows, his strength will grow. His life will grow. His anointing will grow. And Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, when the time comes, you will take him as you went. Lord, the name of Jesus, I decree that on this holy ground, in the name of Jesus. And when he's living, Lord, this anointing, this grace, Lord, will be a triple on the, on the prophet that you leave behind to carry on this grace and this mission for your glory. Father, this I thank you for this grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Prophet 
T.B. Joshua, June 12th, 1963 to June 5th, 2021. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. Amos 3, verse 7. On Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting. Time for everything. The time to come here. And the time to return home. After service. God has taken his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, home. As it should be by divine will. His last moments on earth were spent in the service of God. This is what he was born for, lived for, and died for. As Prophet T.B. Joshua says, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. Prophet T.B. Joshua leaves a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that is living for generations yet unborn. The Synagogue, Church of All Nations, and Emmanuel TV family appreciate your love, prayers, and concern at this time and request for a time of privacy for the family. Here are Prophet T.B. Joshua's last words. Let us watch and pray. One life for Christ is all we have. One life for Christ is so dear. Emmanuel, God with us. Prophet T.B. Joshua, 12 juin 1963 au 5 juin 2021. Le Seigneur l'Éternel ne fait rien sans avoir révélé son secret à ses serviteurs, les prophètes. Amos 3, verset 7 Le samedi 5 juin 2021, le prophète Tibi Joshua s'est exprimé lors de la rencontre des partenaires d'Emmanuel TV. Il y a un temps pour tout. Le temps de venir ici pour prier et le temps de retourner à la maison après le service. Dieu a rappelé son serviteur, le prophète Tibi Joshua, à la maison, comme il se doit, par sa volonté divine. Ces derniers instants sur terre ont été dédiés au service de Dieu. C'est pour cela qu'il est né, qu'il a vécu et qu'il est mort. Comme le dit le prophète Tibi Joshua, la meilleure façon d'utiliser la vie est de la consacrer à quelque chose qui lui survivra. Le prophète Tibi Joshua laisse un héritage de service et de sacrifice au royaume de Dieu. Un héritage vivant pour les générations à venir. La synagogue église de toutes les nations et la famille d'Emmanuel TV apprécient votre amour, vos prières et votre sollicitude en cette période et sollicite un temps d'intimité pour la famille. Voici les derniers mots du prophète Tibi Joshua. Let us watch. Et veillons et prions. Une vie pour Christ est tout ce que nous avons. Une vie pour Christ est si précieuse. Profeta T.B. Joshua, 12 de junio de 1963 al 5 de junio de 2021. En verdad, nada hace el Señor Omnipotente sin antes revelar sus designios a sus siervos, los profetas. Amos 3, versículo 7. 
El sábado 5 de junio del 2021, el profeta Tibilloso habló durante la reunión de socios de Manuel TV. Tiempo para todo. Tiempo para venir aquí. Tiempo para volver a casa después del servicio. Dios se ha llevado a su siervo, el profeta Tibi Joshua, a casa, como debe ser por voluntad divina. Sus últimos momentos en la tierra los invirtió en el servicio de Dios. Esto es, para lo que nació, vivió y murió. Como dice el profeta Tibi Joshua, la mejor manera de usar la vida es invertirla en algo que perdurará. El profeta Tibi Joshua deja un legado de servicio y sacrificio al reino de Dios que vive para las generaciones aún por nacer. La sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones y la familia de Manuel TV agradecen su amor, sus oraciones y su preocupación en este momento y piden un tiempo de privacidad para la familia. Aquí están las últimas palabras del profeta Tibi Joshua. Velemos y oremos. Una vida para Cristo es todo lo que tenemos. Una vida para Cristo es muy preciada. En Manuel, Dios con nosotros. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7 And he speaks in parables. Let's listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua during a live service on Sunday, the 5th of October, 2014. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, Today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> If God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I should come out and say, Praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet T.B. Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it in parables. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. You may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time. And for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home after service. Many people want to be here. But they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 36. Watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray. And then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. Such a people 
Anything can happen to them while they are coming to sin alone. There's so much kidnapping, killing and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people while they come in here. But they are only to receive prayer. With their shame, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Yes, please. Can you give me a summary? The reason why we want to resort to interactive. You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason. Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let me hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this. You'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times. And more so that these people are very far away. And uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. This is the moment Prophet T.B. Joshua left the service. Let's open pass. our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday the 5th of June 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Time to come here for prayer and time to return home after service. Now shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And sir, we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up. I was worshiping the Lord. I was deeply in worship. Immediately my eyes opened. I saw something, people were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity, like as fast as electricity. It entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Jeshua, came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach 
we were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him, he was moving very fast. I feel somehow because I haven't seen him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was, before, the, before he left, I could record that the antelope were running out, out of that garden where the angels is. They ran to this part. Then I, 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 I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us that we are blessed that we are blessed so we received the water after we received the anointing water we were very happy then we all went back to the the to the hotel room this is what i experienced i can easily tell you rightly that our papa did not just die no god sent his angel and he took him home like Elijah. I want to assure you that God is real and our father prophet T.P. Joshua is indeed a man of God. I saw the angel that came to took him home and it is the Lord doing. I can as well tell you that if every man of God can be called home this way can be called home this way it will be marvelous. Because it is not easy. It is only Elijah have been caught home this way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angel landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point. They were there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where we, the partners, uh, where we were praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us. And he said, a time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here. And a time to return home after service. So we began to say that why as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me, it's, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then it got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. He, he landed from that point and he came down from that point there. You can see it from where the first angels landed from. They came down from the same point and they, they came together. As the fourth angel came down and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, 
was already ministering to us, then immediately his countenance changed immediately. His atmosphere changed immediately. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He began to move. He moved around. He moved here first and he moved to that way and he turned around and he passed through this gate very fast. I have not seen him in that kind of mood before. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own running through this place to this part. They began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the, angel, the, the antelope, they, they were running a mass, they ran to this place. That was when the fourth angel landed. And he walked through this place very fast. As he walked down, I was watching him. He was moving, moving, moving. It was not like him. Because formally, he would come and lay hands on us. He did not lay hands on anybody on that very day. He didn't lay hands on anybody. He left us. So after a while, they were sharing the anointing water to us. Then after sharing the anointing water, they began to talk to us that our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that he has sent him to tell us that we are blessed. That was when we began to feel relaxed. Then, before I had the news about his passing on, so I want to assure you, from my own observation and what the revelation that God gave to me, the angel came and carried our father home. He did not die. Yes, it is God's time. It is God calling. God has God took him home for him to have rest. I wish God would give me this grace because what I saw, I am assuring you that I cannot explain it because there is a lot of shock in me because I can't just express what I saw that very day. Remember his last word. He said, watch and pray. That was exact language of Jesus Christ on that very last day. Let us watch and pray. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on the earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on the earth. I will talk to you in parable, so that when I've pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables.
wisdom consists of all gracious heavenly thought of God embodied in Christ for the enlightenment of our soul ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events but preaching teaching the way with power Amen. tell your neighbor speak forward this power we are talking about such comes true are because of the baptism of the Holy Spirit and those who are baptized in the Holy Spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is authority in their mouth if you have authority that authority is to build most of our trouble are torn troubles each prophecy said this men are from God their message is true believe them prophet pastor are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin for edification and comfort God's word is his gift to mankind when we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation we see that Christ and his word are one learn to dream again as we look to God through his word by his spirit Get ready to open your heart to God's Word, faith, and spirit as we listen to what God has to say in today's standard for life. Our life is a race. Our life is what? A race. Upon your own strength, you cannot rely. Tell your neighbor, upon my own strength, I cannot rely let me walk in the presence of God begin to confess whom you are in his presence upon my own strength I cannot rely let me walk in the presence of God in his presence angels unspeakably more numerous god infinitely more powerful walk in his presence i'm linked up with god defeat and failure are things of the past thank you lord you may be seated second timothy chapter 4 in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus who will judge the living and the dead and the view of his appearing and his kingdom I give you this charge preach the word be prepared in season and out of season 
What does this mean? That is, in our spiritual walk with the Lord, there are good and hard times alike. Correct and rebuke, encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their each ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth. But you keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do work of an evangelist. Discharge all duties of your ministry. Six, for I'm already being poor out like a drink offering and the time has come for my departure i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness now is in store for me the crown of righteousness this will take us to the title our life is a race. Our life is what? A race. We that walk with the Lord run a straight race. We that are walking with the Lord run a straight race. Through his good grace, grace in the soul is a new life in the soul. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Apostle Paul is saying here that I have done the work of my day and generation. He's telling you, do the work of your day and generation in the same manner. As a Christian, our life is a race. As a minister, our life is a warfare. I call upon my warfare with a great deal of satisfaction. It says here that now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness that is the crown of believers is a crown of righteousness purchased by the righteousness in christ jesus believers have it not at present yet it is sure they have it not in possession and yet it is sure tell your neighbor i have it not in possession and yet it is sure for it is laid up for them back to the second timothy for I am ready, being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. With what pleasure he speaks of dying, he calls it his departure or his release. Death. To a good man is his release from the imprisonment of this world and his departure to the enjoyment of another world.
Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a Sister, thank you, Lord. He does not cease to be, but is only removed from one world to another. I have fought the good fight and I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. Verse 10. Because he loved this war, has deserted me, and has gone. The love of this world is often the cause of turning from the truth and ways of Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul was guided by divine inspiration. As long as we live, we must continue to learn. Because Apostle did not neglect human needs in seeking the necessity of life. With what pleasure he looks back upon the life he had lived. When you look at verse 6, 7 there, he did not fear death. He said, I had fought a good fight and I have kept the faith. The cause is good. The victory is sure. We must fight it out and finish the cause. Tell your neighbor, we must fight it out and finish the cause. I can hear you. Again? His life was a warfare his warfare was accomplished so his race was wrong well i have kept the faith i kept the doctrine of the gospel and the grace of faith i never betrayed any of them tell your neighbor I have kept the faith, kept the doctrine of gospel, 
the grace of faith I never betrayed any of them to be able to speak in this manner towards the end of our days what comfort or speakable comfort will it afford tell your neighbor to be able to speak in this manner towards the end of our days what comfort unspeakable comfort will it afford
has no sorrow that heaven does not feel. Distance is never a barrier for the move of God. God is more powerful, more majestic in distance. This is the India Isolation Center Interactive Prayer Session with T.B. Joshua. Are you saying that he is from uh, India and uh, he is saying that he's got COVID and all? My people in India, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. कह रहे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपको आपके समय के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जो भारत देश में सबके लिए धन्यवाद कह रहे My people in India, thank you for your time. इसमें सारे जो लोग हैं उनको धन्यवाद दे रही है Once again, my people in India nation, thank you for your time. फिर एक बार कह रहे हैं दोहरा रहे कि मेरे भारतवासियों मेरे प्यारे भारतवासियों बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपने अपना समय दिया इसलिए कीमती समय दिया इसलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आई वॉन्ट टू बी सिंपल विच यू मैं आपके साथ में एकदम साधारण रहना चाहता हूं बिकॉज आई नो दिस मे बी द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर इंकाउंटरिंग माई गॉड और मैं जानता हूं क्योंकि अब शायद पहली बार ही आपके साथ में हो सकता है कि आपका सामना जो है परमेश्वर के साथ में हो रहा है जी सब्सक्राइब यीशु मसीह के साथ में वंस अगेन आई वांट टू बी सिंपल विथ यू माय पीपल इन इंडिया आई वांट टू बी सिंपल विथ यू बिकॉज आई नो क्योंकि मैं जानता हूं दिस मे बी द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर एनकाउंटरिंग माई गो ये शायद पहली बार या ऐसा हो, हो रहा होगा कि आपका सामना जो है परमेश्वर से हो रहा होगा जी सब्सक्राइज यीशु मसीह के साथ में आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू मच मैं ज्यादा बात नहीं करना चाहता आई शोन स्पीक लाउडर मैं और मैं बस जोर से बात करना चाहता हूं लेकिन जो कृति है वो ज्यादा जोर से बात करती है बातों से ज्यादा थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद माई गॉड इज दिला मेरा परमेश्वर जो है वो चंगा करने वाला है दिलीवर वो छुटकारा दिलाने वाला है दिसवियर वो उद्धार करने वाला है जिस क्राइस Yeshu Masi Now it is time to be open and receive be open and receive be open and receive open your heart and receive Aapke dilon ko kholne ka aur grahan karne ka samay aa chuka hai Whatever sin whatever wrong you must have done in the past 
और जो कोई भी गलती जो कोई भी पाप अपने भूतकाल में किया होगा राइट नाउ इट इज टाइम टू कॉन्फेज इट और अब समय आ चुका है कि उसकी कबूली करने का Killing, stealing, and destruction is not God. Marna, मतलब खून करना, चोरी करना और विनाश करना ये परमेश्वर की ओर से नहीं है. Right now, it is time to pray for you. अब समय आ चुका है आपके लिए प्रार्थना करने का. Are you ready? आप तैयार हो क्या? Right now, be open, be open, and receive. अपने दिलों को खोलिए अपने दिलों को खोलिए और ग्रहण कीजिए ग्रहण कीजिए आप कहिए कि मुझे चाहिए बी ओपन बी ओपन बी ओपन और रिसीव और ग्रहण कीजिए अपने मनों को खोल दीजिए खोल दीजिए और ग्रहण कीजिए वट एवर रॉन्ग वट एवर सिंग यू मट हैव कमिटेड इन द पास राइट नाउ बिगिन टू कॉन्फेज इट से लॉर्ड योर मेसी लॉ योर मेसी लॉ योर मेसी और जो कोई भी पाप जो कोई भी गलत आपने भूतकाल में किया होगा आप उसकी कबूली देने की शुरुआत कीजिए कहिए अपने मुंह खोल के कहिए कि परमेश्वर मैंने ये ये गलत किया आप मुझ पर दया करो मैंने ये गलत किया आप मुझ पर दया करो इन जीसस क्राइस्ट नेम यीशु के नाम में आप मुझ पर दया करो लॉर्ड जीसस फॉर्गिव देम लॉ फॉर्गिव देम फॉर्गिव देम क्षमा करे इन जीसस नेम Be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Whatever wrong, whatever wrong, be forgiven in the name of Jesus. जो कुछ भी गलत हो उसकी क्षमा आपको यीशु के नाम में. Whatever wrong, be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. जो कुछ भी गलत है उस सभी की आपको क्षमा हो यीशु मसीह के नाम में वट एवर सीन बी फॉर्गिव इन द नेम ऑफ जी सब्सक्राइब जो कोई भी पाप जो कोई भी गलती सभी की आपको क्षमा हो यीशु मसीह के नाम में वट एवर सीन यू मट हैव कमिटेड बी फॉर्गिव इन द नेम ऑफ जी सब्सक्राइब बी फॉर्गिव इन द नेम ऑफ जी सब्सक्राइब जो कोई भी पाप आपने किए होंगे भूतकाल में उस सब की आपको क्षमा हो सब की आपको क्षमा हो I cover you with the blood of Jesus. आपको यीशु मसीह के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूँ. Be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. यीशु मसीह के लहू द्वारा ढक जाओ. Be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. और आप सबों को आपके पापों की क्षमा हो. Be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. यीशु मसीह के लहू के द्वारा ढके रहो. Be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. यीशु मसीह के नाम में ढक जाओ उसके लहू के द्वारा आई कवर यू विद द ब्लड ऑफ जीसस मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूं आई कवर यू विद द ब्लड ऑफ जीसस मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूं आई कवर यू विद द ब्लड ऑफ जीसस मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूं आई कवर यू विद द ब्लड ऑफ जीसस मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूं I cover you with the blood of Jesus. मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूँ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूँ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूँ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. मैं आपको यीशु के लहू के द्वारा ढक देता हूँ. You affliction. Tu pida. You affliction. Tu pida. You sickness disease. Tu bimari. You virus. You virus in their organ. Or unke ango me vibago me. Live in the name of Jesus. Live in the name of Jesus. Live in the name of Jesus. Whatever virus in their system. In their organ, whatever virus in their system, in their organ, live in the name of Jesus. 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 Live in the name of Jesus.
जो कोई भी वायरस है उनके अंगों में विभागों में उसे आगे देता हूं यीशु मसीह के नाम से छोड़ दे छोड़ दे छोड़ दे उनको उनको छोड़ दे यीशु मसीह के नाम से उनके अंगों को उनके विभागों को छोड़ दे छोड़ दे छोड़ दे यीशु के नाम से इस समय वायरस इन दर सिस्टम वायरस इन दर ऑर्गन whatever virus in the internal organ live in the name of jesus 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 jo koi bhi virus unke angon mein hai vibhagon mein hai use aagya deta hu yeshu ke naam mein chhod da chhod ja unhe chhod ja unhe yeshu ke naam se mukt kar de chhod ja sickness disease affliction in their organ in their internal organ live in the name of jesus virus in the organ live in the name of jesus 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 jo koi bhi bimari hai jo koi bhi vikar hai jo koi bhi peeda hai unke angon mein unke vibhagon mein use aage deta hu yeshu masi ke naam se chhod de abhi chhod de abhi chhod de abhi chhod de abhi जो पीड़ा वाली आत्मा है निकल जाए ईश्वर के नाम से निकल जाए ईश्वर के नाम से निकल जाए ईश्वर के नाम से लिव इन दिन ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट निकल जाए ईश्वर के नाम से I declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Main aap sabhi ko khula ghoshit karta hu Yeshu Masi ke naam se. Khula ghoshit karta hu Yeshu Masi ke naam se. Main aap sabhi ko khula ghoshit karta hu Yeshu Masi ke naam se. Abhi is samay. I declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. आप सभी को मैं खुला कर देता हूं यीशु मसीह के नाम से खुला कर देता हूं यीशु मसीह के नाम से खुला कर देता हूं यीशु मसीह के नाम से बी फ्री इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट बी फ्री इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट बी फ्री इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट यीशु मसीह के नाम से खुले हो जाओ यीशु मसीह के नाम से खुले हो जाओ यीशु मसीह के नाम से खुले हो जाओ Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Yeshu Masi ke naam se khule ho jao. Yeshu Masi ke naam se khule ho jao. Yeshu Masi ke naam se khule ho jao. Yeshu Masi ke naam se aap mein se har ek khula ho jaye. Abhi Yeshu Masi ke naam se. In Jesus Christ's name. Yeshu Masi ke naam mein. In Jesus Christ's name. यीशु मसीह के नाम में आई डिक्लेयर यू फ्री मैं आपको खुला आई डिक्लेयर यू फ्री आप सभी को खुला घोषित करता आई डिक्लेयर यू फ्री आप सभी को खुला घोषित करता हूं आई डिक्लेयर यू फ्री आपको खुला होने की घोषणा करता हूं थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू राइट नाउ इन इज सर्विसो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो दे आर फ्री क्या टेस्ट है इसका लड्डू मीठा है कैसा है कड़वा है ये सही है सही कैन टेस्ट फूड इट्स इट्स टेस्टिंग Now he can walk. He can go to toilet. He has gone to toilet. 
He's saying he's good. He had pain in his chest. Yeah. 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 Exactly all right. I used to have uh, giddiness and palpitation. That is over now. और मैं वो घबराहट होती बिल्कुल भी नहीं है। एकदम ठीक हो गए हैं। एकदम ठीक हो गए हैं। आप इन्हें सब छुट्टी हो जाएगी। और एनर्जी मेरे को अच्छी एनर्जी मिल गई। अरे वो तो वो इस वजह से आप छुट्टी बहुत दिन से चाहते थे कि कोई कोविड मरीजों के लिए प्रयास करे और आज प्रयास हो गए हम लोग बहुत खुश हैं The battle between the stone and the water in time the water wins. We all fight common battles, camouflage differently. I mean, Satan is our common enemy, the author of different afflictions. Faith looks back. Faith tells me Jesus came. Jesus came because relationship was broken. He came to restore the relationship and fellowship between God and man. Faith allows me to embrace what Jesus did for me on the cross. He died for us. He reigns in power for us and still prays for us. Nothing makes us love a person so much as praying for him. The more I pray for you, the more I love you. The less I pray for you, the less I love you. Faith reminds me that my sins are forgiven. Therefore, I don't have to worry 
about or being haunted by my past. It is also his way that you remember that you have sinned and be forgiven. For it is that remembrance that creates a merciful and compassionate heart in you towards others. Don't bring up past account that were paid for or forgiven. How strange, yet holy true. The weak filled with power of God. The Father was Shaitu. Christians can make bad mistakes. However, because of their relationship with God, they know that they can go to God over their behaviors. God will help them to get them back on their feet and forgive them and help them not to make the mistake again. Is any weakness holding you down? What we see as a disadvantage can be turned into an advantage. This was true of the Apostle Paul. A thorn in his flesh became an opportunity for God's strength to be seen in his witness. If we receive a blessing, why should we not expect some pain? We should serve as a check to make the blessing the more valuable. Anytime you misbehave, don't run for God, run to Him. Right now, begin to release your heart. Your heart is a prayer room. My heart is a prayer room. Right now. With all your heart, be there. With all your heart, confess Jesus. With all your heart, it is time to pray. Our heart is a prayer room. Thou power of deliverance. Thou power of deliverance. Open your list, open your list, open your list. Open your list, open your list. Oui, bon Viewers bon all over the world. Les spectateurs du monde entier. Where Les can we go from his presence? Les spectateurs, donde podemos ir de su presencia? Vous voulez aller de sa présence? Whatever power. Quelle que soit la puissance. Whatever spirit. Cualquier cover, cualquier espíritu. Behind the challenges. Behind that situation, situation, right now, in the name of Jesus, begin to command it out, command it out. You evil spirit, you demonic spirit, you evil spirit, you demonic spirit, whatever spirit that is tormenting your life, tormenting your career, tormenting your business, tormenting your marriage, open your lips, open your lips, open your lips in the name of Jesus. Begin to rebuke that spirit. All knee shall bow, all tongues shall confess. Toda rodilla Reboot se doblará. That spirit. Revoca ese that spirit. Espectadores, empiecen a In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesús. En el puissant nom de Jesús. Whatever spirit that is tormenting you. Cualquier espíritu que te atormente. 
Y acusada del espíritu de tu madre. Esa pesadilla. In your career. En tu carrera. That nightmare. Esa pesadilla. In your career. That nightmare. Ce cauchemar. I rebuke in the name of Je Jesus. De Jesús. La revoco en el nombre de Jesús. I command that spirit to leave you in the name Je of Jesus. Quite dans le nom de Jesus. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Open your list. 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 Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Espectadores, continúen orando en el nombre de Jesús. Revoquen todo espíritu demoníaco en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Open your lips. Begin to break that chain. Open your lips. Break that chain. The chain that connects you. Esa cadena que te conecta. With that spirit. That spirit. That spirit. That spirit. That spirit. That spirit. You evil 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 spirit. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips, please. Abre tus labios y revoca todo el espíritu de diabólico. Leave their career. Deja su carrera. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Leave their career. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Leave their career. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo. Leave their hair. Deja su salud. You evil spirit. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Come on, Abel. Espectadores, abran sus labios. Empiecen a orar. Revoquen todo espíritu diabólico en el nombre de Jesús. It is time. Es el tiempo. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Suelta tu cara. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Suelta tu cara. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Suelta tu cara. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Suelta tu cara. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Suelta tu cara. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Rakai Jabieli, Rakai Jabieli. Lose your grip, lose your grip. Lash prise. You evil spirit. Tu espíritu diabólico. You demon. Tu atemo es verdad. Lose your grip. Suelta tu garra. I command. Lose your grip. Te ordeno suelta tu garra. Lose your grip. Lash prise. I command. Te ordeno. Lose your grip. Suelta tu garra. Whatever sickness, disease. Cosa la maladie? Disease. Cualquier dolencia causada por el espíritu diabólico. Whatever sickness disease, causa la maladie. Wherever it is located, donde está la leave my people. Donde esté localizada su alma. You affliction, la maladie afición. Leave my people. Deja mi pueblo afición. You affliction, la afición. Leave my people. Let's move up. Open your lips. Open your lips. The right hand of God is power. La diestra de Dios es poder. The right hand of God is power. La mano de Dios es puissance. I command that disease. Ordeno esta dolencia. In your blood. En tu sangre. I command that disease. Dolor de maladie. In your bone. Da bato, da bato. I command that disease. Ordeno esta dolencia. Out. Fuera. Out. Out. Fuera. Out. Out. Fuera. Out. Open your lips. Open your lips. Open your lips. Begin to command the disease. This is sickness. In your blood, your blood, in your tender, wherever it is located, in your organ. Come on, Eva! Come on, Eva! Come on, Eva! Come on, Eva! Espectadores, abran sus labios. Donde esté localizada la enfermedad, la dolencia, en sus huesos, en su sangre, en sus órganos, en el nombre de Jesús, empiecen a orar. Que pueda ser maldita por su, por su, por todo, por el fluido, por todo. En el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús. I command that the sea. Donde esté maldita. Wherever it is located, donde quiera que esté la enfermedad. That affliction, affliction to be localized. Wherever it is located, donde quiera que esté la aflicción. Come on, Eva. 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 Come on, Eva.
Where can disease go? Parce que l'affection de la maladie se peut se cacher. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Pour que fuera l'affliction en le nom de Jésus. Wherever it is located in your body, où la maladie se cache dans votre corps, in your kidney, et tous riñones, d'abord. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Je ordonne aux fuera en le nom de Jésus. Je suis ordonné de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Je ordonne aux fuera en le nom de Jésus. Out in the name of Jesus. Fuera en el nombre de Jesús. The right hand of God is power. La main droite de Dieu est la puissance. I place my hand on you in the name of Jesus. Je pose mes mains sur vous dans le nom de Jésus. Be declared free. Se déclarado libre. Be declared free. Se déclaré libre. Be declared free. Se déclarado libre. Be declared free. Se déclaré libre. Free in the name of Jesus. Libre en el nombre de Jesús. Be free in the name of Jesus. Salido Be healed in the name of Jesus. Se sano en el nombre de Jesús. Be cured in the name of Jesus. Salido en el nombre de Jesús. Whatever poison you might have taken. Cualquier veneno que hayas tomado. Quel que soit le poison que vous avez pris. Begin to flush it out. Empieza a purgarlo. By the blood of Jesus, la vie, power of Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost! Holy, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost. Begin to flush it out, flush it out, flush it out. Empieza a purgarlo, échalo fuera. Whatever poison. Cualquier veneno. Flush it out, flush it out. La vie, tous les poisons By the blood of Jesus, power of Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost! 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 Prayer! Quel que soit le poison que vous avez pris dans vos rêves, lavez-le par le sang de Jésus-Christ. Priez. Cualquier veneno que hayas tomado, purgalo, purgalo por la sangre de Jésus et le pouvoir de l'Esprit Santo. Purgalo ahora en el nombre de Jésus. Viewers, we declare you free. Espectador, from whatever sickness disease. Quel que soit la maladie. In your blood, in your fluid, in your kidney, in your tendon, in your liver, be declared free in the name of Jesus. Be declared free in the name of Jesus. Whatever you might have taken in your dream, I flood them out in the name of Jesus. Flood them out by the power of Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost! Begin to flood them out, flood them out, flood them out in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Whatever you might have taken, cualquier cosa que hayas tomado, whatever poison you might have veneno, taken, through the dream, en los sueños, begin to flood them out, flood them out, flood them out. Purgalo. Que que soit que vous avez pris dans vos rêves les poissons. Flood them out, flood them out, flood them out. Lavez les poissons par le sang de Jésus. Empieza a purgar todo veneno que hayas podido tomar de la pesa del enemigo en el nombre de Jesús. Púrgalo. Del espectador que Jesús ha levantado. Flood them out by the blood of Jesus. La vele pueda. Power of Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Espíritu Santo. Flood them out. La vele por el sangre de Jesucristo y la puissance del Santo Espíritu. Flood them out. Flood them out. Flood them out. Piangele. By the power of Holy Ghost. El poder del Espíritu Santo. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Santo Espíritu. Espíritu Santo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesucristo. En el nombre de Jesús. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to Him. Da gracias a Dios. Dale gracias a Dios. The Lord is good. Dios es bueno. Rende gracias a Dios. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. El Señor es bueno. Dale gracias. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. Give thanks to Him. Rende gracias a Dios. The Lord is good all the time. All the time, the law is good. El Señor es bueno wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. Right now, begin to touch your business, touch your business partner. Ask God, favor, favor, mercy. Ask God, favor, mercy. Favor, mercy. Sa miséricorde. Your business partner. De votre travail. Your business, your career. Quand tu sors de négocier. Your finances. Tes finances. Favor, 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 favor. Prayer. Ask for God's favor. Demande la faveur de Dieu. Pide le favor de Dieu. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Touch your business. Touch your career.
Touch your finances. Touch your business partner. Touch your partner d'affaires, votre travail. Touch, touch, or ask God's favor. Pide el favor de Dios. Demandez la faveur de Dieu sur vos finances. God mercy. Misericordia de Dios. La miséricorde de Dieu. His name is mercy. Su nombre es misericordia. Son nom est miséricorde. Son nom est favor. Son nom est favor. Priez. Abre tus labios y ora. Pide el favor y la misericordia de Dios en tus finanzas, en tu carrera, con tu socio de negocios. Ora. Demandez à Dieu sa faveur, sa miséricorde, votre affaire, votre partenaire d'affaires, vos finances. His name is mercy. His Son name is favor. Es misericordia y favor. Ask for God's favor. Son nom est miséricorde et faveur. Demandez sa faveur. Pide el favor de Dios. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dans le puissant nom de Jésus Christ. En el nombre de Jesús. Receive God's favor. Receive the favor of God. Receive God's mercy. Receive His mercy. Receive His favor. Receive His favor. Receive His mercy. Receive His favor. 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 Receive His mercy. Receive the favor of God. His mercy. His mercy to your future. Su misericordia para tu futuro. His mercy to your career. His favor to your business. Su favor para tus negocios. His mercy to your future. Su mercy de la misericordia. To your finances. En tus finanzas. Receive His favor. Receive His favor. Favor. Su favor para tu trabajo y finanzas. In the name of Jesus. Su favor en el nombre de Jesús. Mercy. You need his favor in your business. You need his favor in in your career. You need his mercy in your future. Necesita su misericordia en tu futuro. La besoin de sa miséricorde. Mercy. In the name of Jesus. Misericordia en el nombre de Jesús. Mercy. In the name. Jesus, mercy. You need His mercy. His name is mercy. His name is mercy. You need His mercy. You need His mercy. Say, I need His mercy. Son of David, have mercy on me. I need His mercy. His name is mercy. Son of David, have mercy on me. I need His mercy. In my career, I need His mercy. In my future, I need His mercy. In my family, in my marriage, in my finances, in my business, I need His mercy. Son of David, have mercy on me. The David, have pity on me. I need your mercy. Confess your freedom. And begin to walk in your freedom. Confess your freedom. Walk in your freedom. Confess your freedom. Walk in the light of your freedom. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Pray for your nation, your country. God intervention. God intervention. Intervention de Dios. God intervention. Ask for God intervention. Your nation, my nation. Sobre mi nación. God intervention. Jesus name. Prayer for your nation. Priez pour votre nation, votre pays. Demandez l'intervention divine. God intervention. Intervention divine. Ask for God intervention. Ask God to intervene. Injustice. God intervention. Corruption, God intervention. La corruption. Mesro, God intervention. Corruption. Prayer. Ora por tu país, por tu nación. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. La intervención de Dios en el nombre de Jesús. Right now, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Recubre vos por el sangre de Jesús. 
receive clearance receive begin clearance. to receive clearance from receive. god clearance clearance health clearance Claridad business clearance future clearance tu futuro finances clearance. clearance tus finanzas claras stretch your hand begin to receive clearance 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 for your future for your destiny recibe family clearance. marriage clearance in the name of jesus clearance 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 in the name of jesus right the was all over the world receive clearance 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 in the name of jesus head clearance business clearance finances clearance marriage clearance in the name of jesus rejoice rejoice receive clearance in the name of jesus The way out for you has come. Thank you, thank you. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Thank you. Jesus' name. We was all over the world. Receive clearance. In Jesus' name. Receive clearance. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, if you have not known the Lord Jesus and uh, you want to rededicate yourself, say after me, Lord Jesus, make me a channel, a channel of your channel life, a channel of humility, a channel of faithfulness, a channel of obedience, a channel of law, where there is hate. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Watch me with your precious blood. Save my soul today. Save my soul today. I believe you die in my place. Thank you for your salvation. In Jesus Christ's name. I can hear your voice. Again and again, again and again. Don't forget today's message. Real moment bring excitement. Amen. Tell your neighbor. Real moment bring excitement. Now, if real moment, you can see even when there's no money in the pocket, you see that excitement. If there's money in the pocket, there's no different. If there's food on the table, no food on the table, you can't see. Promise of God brings hope and what? Expectation. I want to see your excitement. Amen. Now, you can show this to excitement before you leave here. Excitement when there's money in your pocket, I want to see it. When there is no money in the pockets. <laughs> when there is food on the table. When there is no food on the table.
your healing on me. Command your healing on me.
You also permit in heaven. What we do not permit, Lord, you will not permit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you took Moses, Lord, as you took a prophet Elijah, Lord Jesus, you, at the time came, the Father himself took you. And Father, when the time is coming, when he grows, his strength will grow. When he grow, his strength will grow. His life will grow. His anointing will grow. And Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, when the time comes, you will take him as you went. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree that on this holy ground, in the name of Jesus. And when he's living, Lord, this anointing, this grace, Lord, will be a triple on the, on the prophet that you leave behind to carry on this grace and this mission for your glory. Father, this I thank you for this grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Blessings. Amen. Prophet T.B. Joshua June 12th, 1963 to June 5th, 2021 Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the Prophets. Amos 3, verse 7 On Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting. Time for everything. The time to come here and the time to return home after service. God has taken his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, home as it should be, by divine will. His last moments on earth were spent in the service of God. This is what he was born for, lived for, and died for. As Prophet T.B. Joshua says, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. Prophet T.B. Joshua leaves a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that is living for generations yet unborn. The Synagogue, Church of All Nations, and Emmanuel TV family appreciate your love, prayers, and concern at this time and request for a time of privacy for the family. Here are Prophet T.B. Joshua's last words. Just watch and pray. One life for Christ is all we have. One life for Christ is so dear. Emmanuel, God with us. Prophète Tibi Joshua, 12 juin 1963 au 5 juin 2021. Le Seigneur l'Éternel ne fait rien sans avoir révélé son secret à ses serviteurs, les prophètes. Amos 3, verset 7 Le samedi 5 juin 2021, le prophète Tibi Joshua s'est exprimé lors de la rencontre des partenaires d'Emmanuel TV. Il y a un temps pour tout. Le temps de venir ici pour prier et le temps de retourner à la maison après le service. Dieu a rappelé son serviteur, le prophète Tibi Joshua, à la maison, comme il se doit, par sa volonté divine. Ces derniers instants sur terre ont été dédiés au service de Dieu. C'est pour cela qu'il est né, qu'il a vécu et qu'il est mort. Comme le dit le prophète Tibi Joshua, la meilleure façon d'utiliser la vie est de la consacrer à quelque chose qui lui survivra. Le prophète Tibi Joshua laisse un héritage de service et de sacrifice au royaume de Dieu. Un héritage vivant pour les générations à venir. La synagogue église de toutes les nations et la famille d'Emmanuel TV apprécient votre amour, vos prières et votre sollicitude en cette période et sollicite un temps d'intimité.
pour la famille. Voici les derniers mots du prophète Tibi Joshua. Et veillons et prions. Une vie pour Christ est tout ce que nous avons. Une vie pour Christ est si précieuse. Prophète TV Joshua, 12 de junio de 1963 al 5 de junio de 2021. En verdad, nada hace el Señor Omnipotente sin antes revelar sus designios a sus siervos, los profetas. Amos 3, versículo 7. El sábado 5 de junio del 2021, el profeta Tibi Joshua habló durante la reunión de socios de Manuel TV. Tiempo para todo. Tiempo para venir aquí. Tiempo para volver a casa después del servicio. Dios se ha llevado a su siervo, el profeta Tibi Joshua, a casa. Como debe ser. Por voluntad divina. Sus últimos momentos en la tierra los invirtió en el servicio de Dios. Esto es, para lo que nació, vivió y murió. Como dice el profeta Tibi Joshua, la mejor manera de usar la vida es invertirla en algo que perdurará. El profeta Tibi Joshua deja un legado de servicio y sacrificio al reino de Dios que vive para las generaciones aún por nacer. La sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones y la familia de Manuel TV agradecen su amor, sus oraciones y su preocupación en este momento y piden un tiempo de privacidad para la familia. Aquí están las últimas palabras del profeta Tibi Joshua. Velemos y oremos. Una vida para Cristo es todo lo que tenemos. Una vida para Cristo es muy preciada. En Manuel, Dios con nosotros. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7 And he speaks in parables. Let's listen to the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua during a live service on Sunday, the 5th of October, 2014. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, Today is my last day on the edge. Huh? <laughs> If God has shown me, TB Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, Praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet T.B. Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it in parables. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. You may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time. And for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home. After service. Many people want to be here. But they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. 
for you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 26. Watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray. And then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. So say people, anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. There's so much kidnapping, killing and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people while they come in here. But they are only to receive prayer. With their sham, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Yes, please. Can you give me a summary? The reason why we want to resort to interactive. You'll be at home and we'll pray for you. The reason. Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let me hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this. You'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times. And more so, that these people are very far away. And uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. That's this is the moment Prophet TB Joshua left the service. Let us open our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Time to come here for prayer and time to return home after service. Now shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And sir, we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up, I was worshiping the Lord, I was deeply in worship. Immediately my eyes opened, I saw something, people were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes, I thought it was real. I looked back, everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. 
I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity, like as fast as electricity. It entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Joshua, came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach. We were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast. He walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him. He was moving very fast. I feel somehow because I haven't seen him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was, before, the, before he left, I could recall that the antelope were running out, out of that garden where the angels is. They ran to this part. Then I, 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 I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us, that we are blessed, that we are blessed. So we received the water. After we received the anointing water, we were very happy. Then we all went back to the, the, to the hotel room. This is what I experienced. I can easily tell you rightly that our papa did not just die no god sent his angel and he took him home like elijah i want to assure you that god is real and our father prophet tb joshua is indeed a man of god i saw the angel that came to took him home and it is the lord doing i can as well tell you that if every man of god can be called home this way, can be called home this way, it will be marvelous because it is not easy. It is only Elijah have been called home this way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angel landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come it be, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point. They were there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where we the partners are, uh, where we were praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us and he said, a time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here and a time to return home 
after service. So when he began to say that, why as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me, it's, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then he got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. He, he landed from that point and he came down from that point there. You can see it from where the first angels landed from. They came down from the same point and they, they came together. As the fourth angel came down and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Jeshua was already ministering to us. Then immediately, his countenance changed immediately. His atmosphere changed immediately. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He began to move. He moved around. He moved here first. And he moved to that way. And he turned around and he passed through this gate. Very fast. I have not seen him in that kind of mood before. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own running through this place to this part. They began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the angel, the, the antelope, they, they were running a mass, they ran to this place. That was when the fourth angel landed. And he walked through this place very fast. As he walked down, I was watching him. He was moving, moving, moving. It was not like him. Because formally he would come and lay hands on us. He did not lay hands on anybody on that very day. He didn't lay hands on anybody. He left us. So after a while, they were sharing the anointing water to us. Then after sharing the anointing water, they began to talk to us that our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that he has sent him to tell us that we are blessed. That was when we began to feel relaxed. Then, before I had the news about his passing on, so I want to assure you, from my own observation and what the revelation that God gave to me, the angel came and carried our father home. He did not die. Yes, it is God's time. It is God calling. God has, God took him home for him to have rest. I wish God will give me this grace because what I saw, I am assuring you that I cannot explain it. Because there is a lot of shock in me. Because I can't just express what I saw that very day. Remember his last word. He said, watch and pray. That was exact language of Jesus Christ on that very last day. Let us watch and pray. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> If God has shown me, TB Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable, so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables.
Good morning, church. Good morning. Imane to viewers all over the world. Thank you for your time. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Well, I want to believe that uh, you are led here by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can someone just come out and tell us how you are led here today by the Holy Spirit? Ah, okay. Clap for her. Hey, hey, you are led by the world. Husband. Hey, go and sit down. <laughs> Who was led by the wife? <laughs> you are led by your wife. <laughs> When you look at your life today, it is just the way our foundation started. The foundation, how we started, the premise, the, the beginning is always half K leg. Even to pray, the way you started your prayer, affecting the whole prayer. The way you come to church seems to affect our presence in the church. So it's just like that. Even the way we start our business, we just look at our colleague, someone who's making it. His business is, is going well. Because of that, you now choose to do the same business. Which is very bad. That's, ah, that man is making it. So you will now walk towards the man and say, so please, I want to invest in the same business. The, the one you know about yeah, seems not too good. So you approach it, please tell me how. That is how you started your business. Even your education. What you study in university today is as a sort of someone who is a minister of finance, someone who is a secretary general. You want to go on the internet to know what kind of I mean, subject. Because of that, you choose such a course. You want to be like that. So the beginning is always just the foundation affecting us. Even our marriage today, the cause of collapsing, divorcing, and all sorts, as a sort of how we met. So, the beginning is just like that. It affecting the whole structure. Just like that. Look at our children too. We give back to many of our children today. We can't tell them, we can't control them, we can't instruct them, we can't teach them, we can't tell them what to do. They become our master in the house because of the beginning, the way we brought them up, their upbringing. We spoil them. We are not allowed them to taste some of the hard, difficult time we had in the past. We are not allowed them. Hey, no, this is my children you must enjoy. I suffer so much in life. They must do this. You must do that. You must do that. Okay. So by the time children grow up with that, you will think that life is all about bed of war. Which is life is not like that. You have to allow them to taste some of the difficult part of life. Our beginning is the cause of what we are going through today. I talk of worship God. It's of reason many of us begin to understand what it means to worship God. God is spirit, and his worshiper must do so in what? But today, we, 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 we never knew in the past. We just go by the way our forefather worshiped God. Conventional. It's there. The song to sing in, the song to sing out, how to do this, everything is in the slavos. We are not allowed the Holy Spirit to inspire us. Which area would the Holy Spirit inspire? When everything we want to do is on the table, it's on the paper. How will the Holy Spirit inspire us? So this virtually our life. So our life is full of copy. That is why we also we are copy. 
hardly you see original the the raw you cannot see raw again material is what we are seeing people might be turned to material that is why we cannot invest we cannot discover we cannot bring a new thing to the world again because how will you it you must be raw original the way god created you grow up and be inspired by your creator from time to time you must be inspired by god to change the world to be at the center of your own world but are we inspire everything about us today your dress your air your look or this like you are sitting down you are looking around to see the kind of attire beautiful one when you live here now you go to market and go and buy the same thing some will live here now and go to the car park and move around and see some posh car and look at oh this is a posh car i think i need this vehicle let him take the picture copy copy we have become imitation of man not imitation of god in religion in christianity in our worship imitation of man not imitation of god in our work imitation of man not imitation of god you you learn how to smile the way you smile before is you see some people say, i <laughs> why can't you smile some you see them you can see the way he walk is not original it's not rich huh so this is just what is happening now and this has virtually affecting our children the new generation today we seem to be copies 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 so that has affecting our relationship with god we now take our faith as hobby game They say some people when I move down, attend to them. You hear when they are talking, you know where they are coming from. The Bible is our standard. It's just one Bible, and Holy Spirit is just one. All over the world, one Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit we operate in here is the same Holy Spirit over there, all over the world. I see Holy Spirit's difference. There's so much trouble. So that actually convinced me that the war is coming to an end. With what we are seeing, so much. Where do we start from? When people are copy everything about you, everything you have to study book to know how to pray. Uh, a lot of things. It's, until we turn to imitate God Almighty, our Creator, we will not stop lamenting. That crisis, lamenting and all that, no matter how blessing, how strong you are, Faith is of my heart. Every word of God is spirit and life. And the work in you, when you attend and act upon it, take note of that, spirit and life. So since it's spirit and life, there is no imitation of man there. If somebody come out to give testimony and say, praise the Lord, you say, hallelujah. Yes, when I receive my money water, I spread it this way, I spread it this way, I spread it this way, and I, and I, I receive a big contract. You quickly write it down. I spread it this way, I spread it this way, I spread it this way, I spread it this way. Now you walk towards the money water, when you receive your own, 
When you get home, you will now look at the paper. I spread it this way. 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 So, okay, my contract is coming. Salvation is of man heart. Relationship with God is of man heart. Okay, now we are here today. You, you have read your Bible, and right from nursery, we know what the Bible says. Forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us. That is the standard. So there is no other. Forgive us as we forgive those who what? Against us. It means let go of all unforgiveness. All resentment, anger, bad feelings towards anyone. But I feel but you are here today to pray. You are here today to pray. You are expecting God. That is what I say. Forgive us as we forgive those who sin against all. That is the standard. Take no. Me, let go of all unforgiveness, resentment, anger, bad feelings towards anyone. But a few? No. No, no. So what kind of hypocrisy? Where will we then? Even if you receive and you have not put behind bad feeling towards anyone you will still lose that blessing. You can receive. You cannot go with that blessing. At the time you need that blessing, you lose it. It is the standard. At the time you need that blessing, you lose it. Give us this day our deliverance. What is our deliverance? Forgive us as we Already you have committed yourself. Hmm? And we are here for prayer that comes from faith. What is prayer that comes from faith? Prayer that comes from faith, he the sea. Prayer that comes from faith, set the captive free. Prayer that comes from faith, bless the poor. And if they have sin, they will be forgiven. That is prayer that comes from faith. Tell your neighbor, prayer that comes from faith. He the sick. Prayer that comes from faith. Save the captive free. Prayer that comes from faith. Bless the poor. And if they have sin, they shall be forgiven. That is what we are here for. We are not just here for prayer for need, but prayer that comes from faith. By the time we start now, you see, you see every, everywhere is calm. You see everywhere is calm. You see people, okay, you know, so I, this lady was with me, we joke, we talk. What is wrong with her? That is prayer that comes from faith. That is prayer that comes from heart. Prayer that comes from where? Heart. And prayer can only come from heart when your spirit acts upon the word. You, you want every, your prayer to come from heart, but it is only when your spirit acts upon the word you have the prayer that comes from heart. And prayer that comes from heart is prayer that comes from faith. Because faith is of man's heart. 
and this heart is consists of offense you are full of offense so and the faith does, should, does not share the same apartment with anyone it's god you cannot share the same apartment you cannot share the same heart but heart is full of offense your heart is full of unforgiveness your heart is full of resentment your heart is full of anger your heart is full of bad feelings towards anyone faith cannot share the same apartment with offense faith cannot share the same apartment with unforgiveness faith cannot share the same apartment with anger cannot share the same play with bad feelings towards anyone so what do you want to do now is that you choose faith or you choose offense is it that you choose faith or you choose resentment or unforgiveness this is where we are now prayer that come from heart that is prayer that come from faith hear the sick bless the poor serve the captive free if they have sinned they will be forgiven that is the prayer that comes from heart are you with me if they have sinned and you are praying for and the prayer that is the prayer that comes from faith you will be forgiven instantly that's why you'll be here that you cannot be here without forgiveness because sealing is for salvation of your soul if they have sinned they will be forgiven instantly that is prayer that comes from heart so but your heart is full of offense your heart is full of unforgiveness your heart is full of anger resentment hurt pain you may be right but we should not hold offense against anyone because if you hold offense against anyone it will imprison your heart and once your heart is imprisoned where you go nowhere no relationship with god we just stand up and pour our hearts if there's any pain of the past if there's any bad feeling towards anyone right now you can at this moment stand up and tell lord jesus reconcile yourself let go of all unforgiveness let go of but in his presence there is nothing like unforgiveness resentment anger bad feelings towards anyone freedom breakthrough clearance in his presence as a child of god you are to walk majestically offense cause fear fear of breakthrough fear of sickness fear of isolation fear 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 when you have an appointment you be afraid whether they will hold that appointment if you have a clearance and you are asked to come for clearance you'll be afraid whether you receive the clearance when you want to sleep you'll be afraid of nightmare when you want to pray you'll be afraid whether your prayer will answer fear 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 as holding people in bondage the way fear ruin people if that kind of fear 
Rumi, I will run away from Nigeria because of what you people have done to me. Because of what you people have said to me, what you have done to me, there's nothing you have not done to me. With fear, we will continue to swallow our vomit. Fear will make you swallow your vomit. You take your vomit back. Look at many of us here today. Over my dead body, will I come to Senaro? But we are in the Senaro. No! That is fear. What you say you will not do, you find yourself doing them. Where you say you will not go, you find yourself going there because of offense. That offense in our heart cause fear. When you hold offense, bad feeling towards anyone, whether the person is right or wrong, whether you are right or wrong, and somebody abused or cheated you or whatever anyone might have done to you and you hold bad feeling towards him, you will continue to live life of fear. You know, you may be right and you know something is done to you and you know you are right and you are holding bad feeling towards anyone. And when I say anyone, the accused and accuser, that means anyone holding bad feeling towards anyone, you continue to lead life with fear. And fear robs us our blessing. You will not be able to give your best. That is why we can't give our best. You always are free. God is not of fear but of love. So where are we going? And what is the cause of this fear? Bad feelings towards anyone. Tell your neighbor, what is the cause of fear? <laughs> Say, ask your neighbor, what is the cause of fear? Cause of fear? Bad, feelings Bad feelings towards anyone. Towards anyone. You say, ah, he cheated me. Ah, I will not forgive him. Ah, it's very bad. I help him. He duped me. I, I loan him money. Just hear what this man is saying about me. He called me tea. He embarrassed me. Bad feeling towards anyone. You continue to live life of fear. And the life of fear is life of destruction. If you can't believe a man you can see, is it a man you cannot see you will believe? So if you cannot believe what you can see, Definitely, you cannot believe God. So you don't believe yourself. When you dream, you have to see many people for interpretation. Because you don't believe yourself. That dream may say there is promotion for you. Mm. Let him go and ask people. Because you don't believe anything good can come from you. You say, um, my pastor, my dear, please, I dream I saw promotion. Because you don't believe yourself. So where are we going? How do we get out of this mess? We get out of this mess by stop holding what? Offense. When I say offense, it's too big. I don't even want to use word of offense again. Simple bad feelings towards anyone. If you say that, you know it covers all. For you to get there, where God promised you, bad feeling towards anyone. Stop it. <laughs> ah, you keep singing this song. Leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for God. Right. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of that? 
bad feeling towards anyone. That is the meaning. Somebody slap you, you say, ah, why should you slap me? And you are now hold offense. That is bad feeling to us. So leave it for God. I'm a good example of leave it for God. My name is Leave It for God. <laughs> Prophet, leave it for God. So that's it. That is me for you. I know what I'm doing. You think I cannot fight? My name is Leave It for God. And I just look at you. Uh, Sometimes when, when it's too painful, I will say, uh, where? That doesn't, where? Because I will not allow this to affect my future. And the future is very clear. <laughs> clear and bright. So why should I allow anything to, to stain that future? And the only way they can stay it is to attack you, to insult you. Your answer to that insult will stay the future. Don't trade anything with what? <laughs> Don't ever trade anything with the future. Suffer now and enjoy tomorrow. So please, be patient for the future. Tell your neighbor. That is the answer. Be patient for what? We are not patient for the future. You are too hurry. Ah, I will answer. Ah, no, I have to fight. Ah, I have to defend myself. Ah, no, a time is coming. Your future will answer them. the reason why I say be patient for your future because your future will answer them or answer question future will answer there are many things how will you defend yourself how will you answer yourself no but if you can be patient that future will answer your critics <laughs> tell your neighbor be patient yes. your future will answer your critics. Well, that's when God will set a table before you. And every essential of life will be on the table. The table will answer your critics. But you are not patient. You are not patient for your future. Future we are saying is not here, it's not the future is next. An hour to come, a second to come. Your life can change any moment from now. Yeah. So, when we say future, people think 10 years, I, I cannot wait. I'm just, I'm still a student, I'm undergraduate, I have no, I, I, I'm on unemployment, I don't have job, I don't have, I'm homeless. What kind of future again? I would like to arrange my future. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. What future this man is talking about? Fusha belong to God. And Fusha is what we call mystery. Mystery. How it happened, you don't know. It's just this. 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 Can you, can you count how many seconds? This. Your Fusha ness is this. Next Fusha, this. Next Fusha, this. That is. Yes, the glory, many have lost it. We have to be frank. We got it before and we lost it. But God is merciful. Don't give up. If you have lost it, that is not the end. So please, I want to leave you here in summary. Please. Be patient for your future. Yeah.
your future will answer your critics. Your future will answer your enemies. Your future will answer your adversary. Because Be patient for your future. That your future, the evidence that is coming will surrender your enemy. They will surrender. The evidence is so powerful. A stone which a builder rejected. Take note of that. A stone which a builder rejected will now become a real corner of this. That is the for sure. So they reject you, they call your name because they don't know what it is about to come. There's a mystery somewhere waiting. They reject you. This is how God, I mean, does. He always allow enemy and critics to be embarrassed because of what is coming. So be patient for your future. And this is a time you should expect embarrassment. Yes. And this will prepare you for the future. Embarrassment will prepare you for the future. Name calling will prepare you for the future. Whatever you are going through are to prepare you for the future. Be strong. Be strong. That is it. So what you are going through uh, to prepare you for the future. Pleasure cannot prepare you. Pleasure will destroy you more. This is not the time to talk of pleasure. You want to be strong. You need much of hard time, less of good time to prepare you for the war. Unless you have arrived. Have you arrived? Oh. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You have not yet arrived. You are still struggling. Striving. And this is the time, the right time to go through what you are going through. Sickness, hardship, name calling, rejection, isolation. This is the right time. They, are, they will prepare you for the future. You become stronger. Your strong will make you stronger. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to Him. Amen. You may be seated. Yes. Take note. Be patient for your future. Your future will answer your enemy. Your future will answer your critics. Amen. The evidence will be overwhelming. Amen. If you believe you are too old for the future I'm talking about, God is prepared to add more to your age. Amen. So begin right now. Let Go of all unforgiveness, bad feelings towards anyone, 
anyone may accuse an accuser. Bad feeling. I have bad feeling towards this man. The man is wicked. The man has duped me. Uh -uh. The man has duped me. Uh -uh. No, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear his voice. Mm, no, no, that is not about delete, deleted. It will increase your your spirit, and you need free spirit to relate with God, to relate with the Holy Spirit. Because your spirit will join Himself. But when your spirit is in prison, how will you relate with God? So from this moment, make yourself available. In your heart, first, say to yourself, even your critics will not know that you are forgiven, but your heart, mm, you have nothing. One day when they come across you, they will know that you are for them. You are not against. So please. This is how you begin to prepare for your future. It's like uh, someone who's about to wed. And the, the celebration is next week. But it's now fighting. Fighting people. Fighting people. They may likely kill him before that time. Uh, they will likely kill him. When you are celebrating, you know next week is your celebration. Anything like fight come your way, you know uh, this is the work of anyway. I will be wedding next week. Ah, look at it. This is the work of anyway. You stay cool and calm. Because you know something is about to come. What is about to come is why enemy is doing all this. They want to destroy what is about to come. That is exactly your future, your life. So, what you are doing now, if you are not let go of all your all forgiveness, one will likely be destroyed before the future comes. One may not die, but one will be on the on the sick bed. One may not die, but one will have a disease and sickness that when that future comes, you cannot enjoy it. One will not die, but one will be in the prison yard. A lot of things happen like that. By the time the future comes, you say, oh, you have destroyed already. We go to the future, don't the future come to us? Not you will sit down and say, future come. No, you will go to future. With forgiveness, humility, love, faithfulness, you will go to future. Let someone say, my future is coming. Yes. So when you say your future is coming, your arrival, your settlement, your clearance, then many will now depend on you. Many will depend on you. So many will be depend on you. So my future is coming. Let go of all offense. Let go of all. Yes, my future is coming. <laughs> and uh, if you don't let go of all offense, it will affect that future. And your future will continue to be postponed. 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 Don't be surprised. By the time one get there, they will open the fire and show you this is you are a king. But you spend all your life on the street. Ah, uh, you are a president of a country, but you spend all your life at the garage. You are destined to be very rich. You spend all your life begging on the streets. You just see it in the fire. They will tell you what you are destined to do. You are destined to be rich, to be a president of a country. To be this, to be that, but they will not open the fire. Look at you, you are begging, you are a beggar. You, you, you are, you to utter out, you are a beggar. Utter out, you are on the seat there. You now say, ah, you'll be very surprised that what you are really tempted to do is different from what you went to do. Because of offense, because of fight, because of disagreement, because of bad feeling towards anyone. 
There's no way God can communicate with you. He can only communicate with you through your heart, through your spirit. But your spirit is full of offense. Your, your spirit is full of uh, unforgiveness, anger, resentment, bad feeling towards anyone. This is why many people today, when they realize that uh, there's no way to go because of pain and bad feeling, they don't cut. Secret society, do and undo, they can do anything. So please, begin to believe in God's authority now. Because you believe so much on majority. Get yourself right with God. You can now move with majority. nothing without revealing his plan to his servants the prophets Amos 3 7 and he speaks in parables let's listen to the words of prophet TB Joshua during a live service on Sunday the 5th of October 2014 if today is my last day you want me to come out and say Today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TB Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, Praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Okay, watch the screen. Just as Prophet T.B. Joshua had prophesied, when it was his last day on earth, he indeed spoke about it in parables. Thank you, thank you, our sister. Thank you. Well, you may be seated, thank you. I want to thank you for your time. And for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home. After service. Many people want to be here. But they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. 
the book of Matthew 26. Watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray. And let a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience, are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. So a people, anything can happen to them while they are coming to sin alone. There's so much kidnapping, killing, and destruction outside. Anything can happen to such a people. Why are they coming here? But they are only to receive prayer. With their shame, with their bad attitude, they are only to receive prayer. So this is what we are going to resort to. Interactive prayer section. I hope you listen to me. Can you give me a summary? The reason why we want to resort to interactive. You'll be at home, I will pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let me hear from our father here. The reason why we want to resort to this. You'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so, that these people are very far away, and uh, God is... Uh, uh, Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. Thank you, thank you. That's this is the moment Prophet T.B. Joshua left the service. Let's open pass. our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Time to come here for prayer and time to return home after service. Now, shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And sir, we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up. I was worshiping the Lord. I was deeply in worship. Immediately my eyes opened. I saw something, people were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like 
electricity, like as fast as electricity, it entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Joshua, came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach. We were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point. The fourth angel landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him. He was moving very fast. I feel somehow because I haven't seen him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was, before, the, before he left, I could record that the antelope were running out, out of that garden where the angels is. They ran to this part. Then I, 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 I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us that we are blessed that we are blessed so we received the water after we received the anointing water we were very happy then we all went back to the the to the hotel room this is what i experienced i can easily tell you directly that our papa did not just die no god sent his angel and he took him home like Elijah. I want to assure you that God is real and our father prophet T.P. Joshua is indeed a man of God. I saw the angel that came to took him home and it is the Lord doing. I can as well tell you that if every man of God can be called home this way can be called home this way it will be marvelous. Because it is not easy. It is only Elijah have been caught home this way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast, like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angel landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point. They were there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where we, the partners, uh, where we were praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us. And he said, a time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here. And a time to return home after service. So when he began to say that, why as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me, it's, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then it got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. 
he, he learned from that point and he came down from that point there you can see it from where the first angels landed from they came down from the same point